Alright, hello everybody. We're here doing more FPS's during the week this week because the beta release of Breakpoint, a pack by Major Arlene and a group of other mappers, which we will read about shortly, uh, finally released. I've been uh, anticipating this for a few months because it's been in uh, it's been in progress. Uh, Arlene's been streaming uh, some of her mapping sessions of this for several months now, um, and this is very roughly speaking. I like to call this the alkaline of of Doom wads. Um, that's that's probably slightly inaccurate. Hey, Major Arlene, welcome. Um, that's probably slightly inaccurate, but I mean, when it comes down to it, it does have new enemies and weapon stuff by virtue of including Supercharge, uh, a, a, a modification that we've seen Major Arlene work with before. Hey, Waxcoat. It's going pretty well, and I'm uh, super excited to be trying this out. Um, the reason I roughly call it the Alkaline of Doomwise is because it is largely uh, a base map pack, uh, which is right up my alley. I'm a sucker for base maps. Um, but reading about it on the, uh, the Doomworld thread where it was posted, um, it is introduced as a 9-map Doom 2 UDMF episode featuring colorful 3D environments from some of the best and brightest of modern GZ Doom mappers. This idea for this set was originally conjured up as an experiment for Major Arlene to see if she could stop mapping with Marble for a minute and make a tech base. Along the way, she picked up Jazzmaster 9, Guard Soul, Remorath, and Velvetic, and came together to make an episode that she hopes will please players of a wide range of playstyles and tastes. Um, so... I haven't played uh, all of Major Arlene stuff, but obviously I did play The Deep, um, and enjoyed that, and uh, that seemed pretty reasonable, even even though it does have you know hordes here and there. Um, they were they they were not too unreasonable for me to uh, to face off with, so I'm hoping that uh, this won't be too much for me to handle. I probably will play it on um, the medium difficulty setting on Hurt Me Plenty the first time just to start out, so I know what I'm getting into. Hopefully be less slaughtery? Oh, really? I wasn't sure. See, like, I don't know. I'm very uninitiated to a lot of modern Doom mappers, so... I don't know who tends towards the slaughtery end and who doesn't. I know in the Quake world, there's definitely people who are very far on the difficult end of the spectrum versus those who aren't. So, uh... You think map 3 is the hardest one? Okay, I'll take that as fair warning. Also, I think you mentioned in here somewhere that there's a secret map. So, no, no promises on whether I'll end up managing to find that on my first playthrough or not, but we'll see what happens. Um, technical stuff. Please use GZ Doom 4.8 series for this. Newer or older versions are untested and may crash or have unintended side effects. Supercharge 2.9 is included in this PK3. Supercharge was also... A version of that was also included with The Deep, which I previously played. Uh, loading other mods on top may have unintended side effects or crashes. Maps are tested both in continuous and pistol start. Supercharge has a pistol start feature you can use for ease of pistol starting each map. Please play in Vulcan mode or hardware mode if your hardware doesn't support Vulcan. You may need a beefier computer to play this as maps take full advantage of current GZ Doom UDMF options. And please have dynamic lights and bright maps enabled for best visual effects. Special thanks to my fellow mappers. This would have been a lesser quality project without your expertise and guidance. Big thanks to Remorath who did much of the graphical gussying up. To my playtesters, Bridgeburner56, Insane Gazebo, is it Jink? Is that the correct way to pronounce it? Uh, Proverbial Gamer, Anello, Pegleg, Biodegradable, Not Tyrone, Numenzel, and if I forgot you, I pr apologize. To Jimmy for his bespoke track for the secret map. That's where I saw the secret map mentioned. To Ukiro for Otex. So, yeah, we're going to get a lot of Otex tech based stuff going on. Is it a hard G? Oh, wait, okay, it's a gink, then. I, th see, that's, that's what I don't know. I've never seen the name before. Um, to Tango for Supercharge, it is my favorite mod to work with and has enhanced gameplay experience tremendously for this set. To anyone and everyone who plays the set, leaves feedback, etc. I'm always hoping for to anyone who reads the readme, but... This isn't quite a readme in this case, and this is on a forum, so yes, people are going to read it in this case. Um, <laughs> never gonna forget getting a shout-out I think it was from Iago in a Quake readme because I specifically read the readmes on stream. Um, <laughs> uh, but anyway, let's let's get into things. Um, I so the last time I played a GZ Doom thing, it was on 4.7. I attempted to copy over my config, so hopefully it'll be mostly good. I did already switch to Vulcan in here. Um, what was the other thing? I need to look for uh, for light stuff, right? Uh, which menu is the lighting effects in? I have no idea. 
or should I just let me see what the uh, what the thing said and I'll search for it just to make sure that it's on. Yeah, it's probably on, but uh, please have dynamic lights and bright maps enabled. That's what it was. Uh, uh, what do we have? Dynamic lights. Yeah, that's on. I think it's all on. All right. Uh, I'm just gonna double check the controls really quick because I know there's some extra controls in uh, Supercharge. All right. Yeah, I think these probably carried over from the last time I played something, so this should be fine. There should be a reload key also. I'm assuming, right? Isn't there a reload key? Or does it not have one? Or am I just remembering, like, the animations in between firing? Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Or is it not listed for some reason? There's other. Also, there's a separate options menu for supercharge, right? Oh, it was up... T make sure you have... Wait, it was up top. Okay, so I just, like, scrolled right by it. Uh, oh, it was literally here, and it's not bound. Why is it not bound? I don't know. I swear I've used Supercharge before. Um, okay, I think the rest of this should be good. Here I was, like, digging into the completely separate menu and everything. Let's see, do I care about any of this stuff? I think all of this is probably fine the way it is. I'm not gonna mess with it. I know I've messed with a couple of these options before, but let's try to get into it. So, uh, they they just they take Nightmare off the list to begin with entirely, and I'm gonna go with Hurt Me Plenty. That's even what it's pointing to right now. Um, but uh, let's uh, go ahead. I'll start my local timer. And we'll see what happens. Oh, and it tells you about the uh, the pistol start option. So I regret that I was not. Like, I tried to come up with a couple of musical ideas to help out with this, but I had writer's block very early in the process. <laughs> and I just... It's, and I know you said you had, uh... You had MIDI tracks in mind already anyway. Actually, I'm gonna have to balance the audio a little bit. Oh yeah, I usually do turn that down a slight bit. I don't want to turn it down too much, because the music's gonna be good. But yeah, this is a really good starting track, actually. Like, the way this track starts out. Alright, so hang on a sec. Let me double check something. Is jumping supposed to work in this or not? Because I immediately attempted to jump and nothing happened. But I don't know if it's intentionally turned off. Okay, I can go up that way, so maybe it's intentional. No jumping, okay. I might need to balance both audios, actually. Let me... I didn't realize the, uh... When I got the weapon pickup, I didn't realize that was kind of coming louder. Alright, that looks like... I'm assuming that's a key in there. It's kind of rotating and stuff. Does that hurt me? No, it just blocks me. Also, I'm... I feel like this is a different HUD than I remember. Did you have a custom HUD going on in, um in the deep, because I remember it having, like, bars. Do I have no monsters on? You know what? That's a good question. Let me check. I will restart the game right now, because if I do, it's lingering from the last time I used this. Yeah, I do. Thanks for, uh, pointing that out. I checked everything else in ZDL, and I did not check the additional parameters line. Well, now you get to see the intro, which we actually skipped, and I will... I'll reset the timer again. So, all right, we've got a false start. We're, it wouldn't be a, a complete stream without a false start. But there's your, there's your breakpoint intro. So let's try that again. And now let's start the timer again. Oh, you made a custom one for this one. Actually, one thing I'm thinking, though, is can I scale the HUD? Because I feel like I might want to do that. Scaling options. Um... If I just do this, to, yeah, that works. Okay, so let's do like that or something. Oh yeah, now we have enemies. Look at that. I forgot that the pistol is not auto fire in this, so had to get used to that real quick. Oh, also, I should check my map. All right, my map is still using the uh, the Doom color palette, so.
But yeah, I probably still had no monsters on back from when I was testing that utility I made. <laughs> like, sometime many months ago. That is still kind of loud, isn't it? Should probably balance the audio a little bit more. That probably didn't help. Like, the actual weapon sound effects are way louder than everything else. Which is, that's just the way that Supercharge is. Oh, I had to reload. Oh man, we found the server room already. Alright, just got them both. Yeah, it would kind of be cool if Supercharge had, like, audio balancing between its own, like, classes of sound effects or something. Man, I feel I feel bad for any short people who work in this server room. Kind of a kind of a high switch there. Now what did that do? Oh, hang on, I can go over here. That those are very I I also feel bad for short people who work in the server room because of these steps. Holy crap. I see. We have all brought uh, machine guns to the party. Did I get all of them? I got all of them. Alright. Actually, how much? There's one secret, okay. Uh, exit, but it looks very not ready. I don't know, let's venture into the, uh, the exit room, I guess. Okay, so we can walk on this. Uh, and I guess I could technically walk around this. Oh, this connects back to where I was at the beginning. Okay. Uh, hi. That was rude. Oh, we got stuff over here. Yo, that, that was a Quake 2 ammo pickup sound. Now we got the double barrel. Okay. You were pretending you were tall for this one. <laughs> got anybody else over here? Nope. No, no symmetrical Helm Knight on this difficulty? Okay. Oh, oh, sh oh there was a dude behind me. Hey, remember that the symmetrical Hell Knight I was talking about? He arrived. And, and now he's gonna dunk on literally everybody. Okay. Uh, I can also go around the outside, which I totally didn't notice before. Whoops. Look at me doing things the hard way the first time. Right. You'd think I would remember that that happened. grabbed a few sounds from Quit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, that's right. I remember the Grenadiers from, um, from the Deep, and I remember they, they used the Quake 1 grenade bouncing noise, yeah. I completely whiffed that shot. I'm just gonna be, like, compulsively checking behind me every time now. Now, actually, was there only one of them last time? So one of them wandered off or something? Maybe? Maybe that's what happened to me before? Oh, yeah, here they are. Alright, I'm gonna check behind me again. Yeah, I think that other one had just wandered off last time. 
Ow. Did not notice the grenade bouncing down the hallway. Oh yeah, one thing I wanted to- Oh, that's also a Doom 64 sound. One thing I wanted to find out is, are there credits of who did what map anywhere? Had to do something. At the end of each map. Okay. That's right, I forgot that's a thing that, that Doom Packs sometimes do. Also, I feel like I should lower my mouse sensitivity a tiny bit because I'm probably giving everybody whiplash. Although, I think these are the settings I usually use, but I'll err on the side of caution. Okay, so I have this key. Do I even know what it's used for? Probably. Nope, not that. <laughs> it's like, how do you watch out for for something that requires a yellow key when everything in the level is yellow? Oh, maybe the door that's entirely yellow. That's more yellow than usual. Actually, does this use the same ammo? Hard to tell because of the reload. Oh no, I'm boxed in, aren't I? Also, is that a green supercharger? Whoops. These things attack faster than usual, don't they? Right, let's fill up before we uh, allow all hell to break loose. Also, I haven't saved in a while, so I should probably do that. And scale the hell. Yeah, I don't. I was thinking that when I looked at it from behind. I was like, is this as big as the, the ridiculously large door in the deep? Probably not. I feel like it's still smaller than that one. What? You're not dead yet? Oh, okay, he's helping. <laughs> right when I say you're not dead yet, it's like, here, fix that. Got another grenade over here. Let's get rid of that guy before I trip over something. Rocket box? I don't have anything to use that with yet, do I? are a little sturdier than I thought. Oh, okay. Uh, that was probably supposed to take me with it, but... Oh, hello. I have no idea what that's aiming at. Not what I thought I was aiming at. Uh, somebody else is also angry at things. Uh, also... Is there anything behind me? No? Okay. Well, now we know what all the rocket boxes were for. Thought I was hearing something from the other side. Oh, we got boner dudes. Whoop. Okay, I'm glad I barely avoided getting hit by the giant molten caramel popcorn. Another... Did I kill all the Cacodemons? I guess I did. Wait, no. Is he... There he is.
There's still another one over here somewhere. There he is. Okay, let's save after I've cleared most of that. Oh, there's still another one. Oh, he's dead. Alright. So you wish you would have picked up mapping as a hobby years ago rather than skinning for Unreal Tournament 99. Wow. Yeah, it, ma it makes me... It sometimes makes me wish I would have uh, continued... Because, like, I tried mapping for Doom once a long, long time ago with, like, a DOS map editor. I don't even remember which one it was. But, uh... I didn't... Actually, so then I tried, like, learning to map for, like, Quake or Unreal Tournament, and it got confused. Got very, very confused. I, sh I should have stuck with Doom. I didn't think people would still be doing it, you know? Decades later, but here we are. Alright, what, what are we going into here? Is this actually... No, this is not someplace I've been, I don't think. Uh-huh. Uh... I feel like it does pay to have played other Otex things before, like Ev Eternity, to know what the switches look like. Because, like, the fact that this was already lit up and you had to, like, unlight it was something that, like, I could see maybe... Oh, well, no. I mean, that's totally yellow, that's totally black. That should stand out either way. I just feel like it's har it's harder to signpost things when they're still the same color as all of the accents. Okay, now we're retreading ground, I think. Oh, hello. Yeah, Mopey. Yeah, it's, it's always... I mean, this is... Uh, this is mostly stuck, GZ Doom, plus Supercharge, so... That switch can look like a mural too. Right, yeah, true. Hey, we got plants. I didn't- I didn't admire the plants before. So... <laughs> Alright, so we've partially got Alkaline, and we've partially got the Brutalist Jam, because there were many maps with plants in them in the Brutalist Jam. I- I was... I was pretty impressed by that. Uh, so I guess we found the exit, huh? Alright, and this- okay, I was gonna guess this was a Major Arlene map. I mean, partially because I've seen her post screenshots of it, but also, like, the way that, like, I saw- Well, I don't know, maybe this is a co more common thing than I think, but I feel like the way I saw, like, resources sprinkled along the, you know, the perimeters of rooms and stuff felt like a Major Arlene thing to me. Uh, so I missed a few items, of course. I missed the secret. Um, what I think I'll do, actually, is let me rename this file. And that way I'll, I'll save in each map. Because I'm not necessarily expecting to find all the secrets right away. Heh. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, like, it was a thing in... Like, back when I was playing the Quake Brutalist gem, it was a thing in Control also, which obviously, uh, I think at least one, if not more, maps were inspired by. Um, so I'll just start naming these after... The levels that I'm in. Alright, so I know I saw a screenshot or two of this at some point, too. So we've we've migrated from yellow to orange. Orange, you glad it's not yellow. Uh, oh, I'm out of ammo for that. That's not good. I gotta get used to, like, looking at the ammo in the lower right to gauge my totals. It's a lot darker in this map, I'll tell you that. So here's where everyone mistakes this set for Quake. I mean, I don't know, why would they... I, I guess I'll find out as I go through it. I'm not sure I would mistake this for Quake just yet. Yeah, I saw him out of the corner of my eye and didn't back up enough.
Gotta learn to recognize them by their visors. Wait, who else is shooting? Alright, that guy... That guy is very easy to miss. Got a little bit of sniping going on in here. Uh, another one? Another one. So that requires the red key, you can see the trim. What? Excuse you. That dude's like basically invisible. <laughs> That was definitely overkill for that guy. There's health here, I should take that. Ow. Oh dear. I don't know how I didn't back into that. Alright. I like how I managed to play Toho with all of the uh, Mancubus bullets, and then I nearly just walked right into an imp bullet. Alright, now I can understand where people would think this is Quake, because you got a very big room with a bridge over lava, and you got the fog and everything. I don't know who he was mad at. He was mad at somebody who was not me. Maybe it was one of them. They seem to be dead already. Also, this music sounds vaguely heretic-like to me. Presumably, we need to find a way to raise a bridge or something. Wait, what? Yeah, I was gonna say, I didn't open that. I, I always make a pain in the arch joke here because there's a quake map called Pain in the Arch where, like, every five feet, you run into another doorway and there's a knight over here and a knight over here and they gank you from behind every single time. And so that felt like a, uh, a doom pain in the arch moment right there. Right, so that's that's where I can't go yet. Let's see where else I can go in here. Oh, hi. You're over there, too. Alright. That's good to know. Trying to like balance my ammo here, but I'm okay for now. Hmm. Wonder how the heck we get up there. How many secrets in here? Four. Oh, that's that's actual blood spatter that I caused, probably. Uh okay, now all those lights seem to be equal. Oh, there's a switch here though. Alright. Did that let anybody else out? Also, maybe I just have to ask the box nicely? No, nope, maybe not. Gotta be something else. Could even be like a floor trigger further back, who knows. There's another switch over there? I can shoot that. Oh, there you go. Alright. That's interesting that it doesn't auto-switch you in Supercharge. Oh yeah, this I didn't see the, uh, the question, but yeah, this is using Supercharge. What? I am getting hit-scanned from somewhere. Oh, those guys. Mean 
while I can't believe it's not E1M1. Uh, yep, yeah, that one fell over, but was not dead. <laughs> Didn't know you could do that. Uh, I imagine I might be able to get down there from here. Don't know if I want to try that or not, but maybe we will if I don't find anything right around here. Oh, that was a waste. What? What did I just pick up? I don't know, but uh, hey, how about that health I picked up? <laughs> what did I pick up? You're not telling me it was the super shotgun that caused all that to spawn, is it? Because I already... Well, okay, right. If this were a pistol start, that would make sense, I guess. So, like, hmm, pro tip, maybe don't spawn a super rude hit scanner up above eye level, like, way above eye level, and, like, possibly behind you? That seems not very nice. Speaking of, there's the other guy again. Okay, like, the funny thing is I didn't even realize that there was something to walk over there, and then everything just started happening, so yeah. Maybe light that more to make it more obvious that you're about to walk over a weapon, at least? I don't know. Like, this this map is altogether generally darker than the last one. Oh, come on. Thank you. Oh, hi. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You know, maybe I just won't pick up the super shotgun, because I don't... I, I just picked it up anyway. Uh, because I don't bloody need it. Although, I don't know whether this triggers some... Like, I don't know if this is necessary. Like, sometimes... Sometimes in Quake, you'll see, like, power-ups that you have to pick up to progress things. And I don't know if this is like that. But this definitely seems like a difficulty spike. You just gotta do it a couple times and learn where the heck things are coming from. That fight used to be a lot meaner as well, jeez. <laughs> the one thing I find funny about that is just like, how many how many guys were you trying to make coexist on a single crate at the same time? Okay, so now the question is, did that do anything besides give me the super shotgun? Like, hang on, go around the other way. This is still... Is this still in the same state? This looks like it's still in the same state as it was before. So it seems like it's just for getting the super shotgun. So you, you really have to work for that. Now, granted, I'm not playing with pistol start, so... I'm not sure... I'm trying to think if I had found this weapon anywhere else in the level, because I feel like I would want to be reliant... Or the rocket launcher, for that matter. I feel like I'd be kind of up Shit's Creek if I only had the Super Shotgun at that point. <laughs> Alright, so I... Have I been down here? It kind of looks like I probably have. No, nope, maybe not. Also don't know if this is sequence breaking or not. But it looks like something I can do, so I'm doing it. And there's a teleporter to get back, I guess, possibly. Yeah, this is definitely new, alright. I, uh, I meant to switch weapons, and I missed. <laughs> alright. Mm. 
So that one's on me. Whoop. Again, try, trying as hard as possible to actually get hit by that. Forgot they're right there. Right, we got any other pinkies? How did your gun end up up there, dude? <laughs> like, I can't actually pick it up because it landed up there. <laughs> oh, also, I'm almost dead. I should probably fix that. I always, like, manage to miss picking up exactly one health bonus. Alright, what else can we do down here? Oh, there's a switch. Hit the switch, that's what we can do. Oh, okay, that opened up. Kind of surprised it was just those two guys. Oh, okay, that gives us access to up here. To what end? Oh. Uh huh. Is that two out of four? Oh, I didn't... Did I not save when I got the Berserk? Because the Berserk was definitely... A secret, too. I don't know. Uh, so there's another switch up here. That opens that. Okay. And now we're back up here. Okay, but I'm curious about something, then. What does this do? That also just brings me back up. Okay. So you can, you can come back if you decide you didn't want to do that yet. Is this actually where I was before? Oh, it's the other side. It's where those other two guys that the, uh, that the imp got mad at were. Okay. But we've got a key for that door that we found a long time ago. I'm expecting something to be mad at me for getting that. Oh yeah, I actually didn't save with the Berserk. Uh, I might save that thought until I need health. Okay, but seriously, though. It's like, why did everything get so pissed off at me for taking the super shotgun? But meanwhile, I take the red key, it's like, I'm gonna get in your stuff now. And they're like, eh, whatever, who cares? Help yourself. But super shotgun? No, real shit. Uh, so I think this was the first door I went through, wasn't it? I think so. Alright, here's the red door. And there's a blue door. One door, two door, red door, blue door. Yeah, honestly, the SSG just doesn't feel worth it. I don't know. Uh, okay, now, alright. This is where enemies are gonna get really mad at me again, right? Because now we've got a rocket launcher. No? No, they're gonna get mad at me when I take the key this time. Okay. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. You're in the way. Please move. Hello, I'm just going to not not be in there. How did I not hit him? Okay, 
yeah, so this might be where I go get health, but no, there's some there's some in here. Might be fine. That seems suspicious. Hmm. Might be scenery, it might be suspicious. I don't know. And I, I keep wanting to think that this is suspicious, but that's because I play Quake. Uh... Huh. That's actually where I came in, isn't it? That is now barred. Suddenly we need keys for everything. Well, actually, that doesn't even say anything about needing a key, but I live here now, so... was that blue door? I just saw it, and then I just walked away from it. Here it is. Okay, I'm actually gonna do a new save file. I assume I will eventually be able to get back, but just in case. Oh, okay, so this is saying that, like, this switch is gonna raise those bars, probably. Oh, hello. Wait, isn't this actually outside again? Like, if I were to... Alright, I'm curious about something, because if I were to drop down here... Okay, so you can lower it from outside. That was what I was wondering, is like, would that actually soft lock you out? Also, wait, did I not actually hit that switch then? <laughs> I never actually hit that switch. <laughs> Which I suppose would have done the same thing that I did anyway. Question is, does it do anything else? Oh yeah, I suppose I let you guys walk around, didn't I? Yeah, it's kind of interesting. I was I was just surprised that it actually did loop back around outside anyway. Well, that's kind of neat. Oh, I can go back here. Is there a reason to go back here? Maybe not. Hey, Dime. How you doing? Yeah, I'm playing uh, the Breakpoint Beta, which uh, is a pack that I've been looking forward to for months. So, it's really cool to get to play it. Lots of base map stuff. But yeah, hope you're doing well. like we are probably going through there next. Right, so we took the stairs to get up there. I always want to think that there's something with TV screens. Like, I don't know. I just always find them suspicious. Just like real life, actually. Oh, we found the exit, apparently. Okay. Uh, I should go back and get that other secret. Uh, how am I? Oh, I did kill everything. Okay. Oh, jeez, yeah. Yeah, actually, I have a couple of co-workers in Seattle, and even they got snow, although it's probably going to clear up by the time Christmas rolls around. We're just supposed to get rain in my area. Uh, where was that other secret? Is this where that was? 
Uh, yeah, I probably didn't come in the fastest way to get it, but it was over here. Well, we got two out of four. This is presumably where we started, yep. And I don't need that ammo. I don't have too many rockets left. Apparently there's a bunch of stuff I didn't pick up over here anyway, so... I probably should run through here one more time. Oh. Backpack. Okay. Actually, I guess I already had a backpack, right? Because didn't I already have a higher capacity? Technically, it's probably technically possible to fall down in some of these places, yeah. I do have to wonder if there's any secrets hidden by lava. Hey look, everything's on fire over there. I think we just found Twitter. And face mask, jeez, yeah. Yeah, I think the worst I've ever... The, when I visited um, Ottawa in 2005, I think it might have hit negative 30. And that's probably the worst... That, hey, there's something over there. It might just be an escape hatch, but there's something. Oh, this was the spot that I was... <laughs> So originally I was thinking there was supposed to eventually be a bridge here, and actually no, this is the way you get back up if you if you done goofed. So, whoops, that was me horrendously misreading that situation. I didn't look down. Because, you know, who the heck looks down in Doom Maps? Uh... That guy had a bad time, I guess. Alright, well we got three out of four secrets now, so that ain't too bad. Kinda tempted to look in, well, either down there or in, like, the red key area again. Whoops, I might have just got a hot foot a little bit there. I forget if I had found any secrets in here. Oh, yeah. I mean, I know, I know the flu- well, wait. Oh, no, are you talking- you were saying something about COVID a few days ago, right? But I know the flu has been, uh, making a rather big appearance this year as well. Ugh. Yeah, I'm- I'm worried about it, too, because- My mother is the type who insists on always going to Mass, and she's gonna go to Christmas Mass, and she does mask, but she wears, like, a surgical mask, which isn't as good for keeping it out from other people. So, I'm a little worried. Because, uh, you know, everywhere is masks optional at this point, and I mean, to be fair, like, some people do still mask around here, but they are generally the minority. Alright, I think I'm gonna go for the exit. Although it's quite possible I just completely, like, stared at the last secret in the face and missed it. Uh, I forget, was the exit actually in here, or was the exit out of here? Crap, now I'm gonna forget where the exit was. Uh... I'm pretty sure it wasn't in here, because doesn't this double back out? I mean, I guess we can go through here again anyway.
Well, I mean, boosters or not, you're still susceptible. Oh yeah, you know what? I've been wondering if I could get over there. Like, it even looks like there's a little alcove over there or something. Uh, oh, you know what? I bet I, I know what I can do. Yeah, that works. And there's your last secret. We did it. We got all of them. I probably can't get back over there from here. Right. I also probably don't actually have to go all the way back through here for all I know, but... Uh, we're gonna do it anyway. But yeah, uh, pretty sure both of my parents are as boosted as they can get, and so am I. It's really long COVID that I'm the most worried about, because you never know what you're going to get when it comes to that. Alright. Well, we've done everything we can in this map. That is not actually the... Oh, okay. We get to admire the Tetris ceiling. Oh, and it fades out. It's classy. Alright. Okay, so that was by Jazzmaster. I do think I remember now seeing Arlene retweet something from this map back when Jazzmaster tweeted about it. Uh, so yeah, I missed a few items, but we got all the secrets. Now entering Zero Point Reactor. Oh boy, well this is immediately, uh, exciting. I'm getting hit by everything. I see. I think we might have an Archie or something on our hands. Oh yeah, I think I saw him all the way on the other side. Yeah, there he is. You are not aiming at what I thought you were aiming at. Also, I gotta remember I don't have many rockets. Wait, we got more pew-pews, too. This is a lot of sniping. Ow. Uh, I probably didn't want to pick that up right now, because I probably still had plenty of armor. Got company. Um, Archie is helping. Whoops. Uh, somebody's having an argument over here. Gotta learn to recognize that. What? Oh, hello. This is just like everything is happening at once. Wait, what were those white fireballs from? I don't even know what's shooting at me. I should probably save, though. Okay, wait, we can go through here. Is this a good idea, or is this a bad idea? Oh, we got, we got boners. I 
I have like no bullets left. Ow. Oh, hi. Well, that's awfully nice. Okay. Yeah, now, now I see why you're saying map 3 might seem like the hardest one, because there's just, like, tons of, uh, sniping going on from every angle at once. Especially at the start. Uh, they seem to be having an argument, so I'll leave them to that. You're not dead. Yeah, I have no bullets, I have 41 shells, I'm a little worried about this. How are you supposed to do this from a pistol start? There's like, like, you can't punch these guys. Oh, there was a shotgun there. I don't know how I didn't pick that up. I suppose you would get a little bit of shotgun ammo here, but most of the enemies are out of reach. Alright, those are within reach. Oh, hello. Also, how many secrets? Four, okay. We got the, uh, Quake Slipgate sound here. Alright, so they give you the machine gun at this point. Okay, those graphics I feel like I've seen in the deep or something before. Alright. At least now we're getting, uh... Somewhere. But yeah, I was taking it super cautious at the beginning, and I guess you're saying you're supposed to just ignore it. Oh, are all of these Otex? I wondered if any of them came from other sources. Because, like, I remember in the deep you had that one wall that was, like, all, like, red and purple monitors, and I was like, there's no way that's all Otex. <laughs> oh, I can't actually open that. Okay. Sure, I'll take that. I think the only custom textures are in map 8. Hmm. You can't do ceiling triggers, can you? Yeah, I kind of want to save the Berserk for later. Alright, I do have bullets now. Oh, hi. Oh, jeez. Get out of there. Alright, that one finally died. <laughs> yeah, like in Quake, that's very much a thing. But in Doom, I'm not so sure. Uh, okay, one of them is still alive over there. Alright, jeez, guys, I get it. Taking way too much damage over here. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Hi, where did he come from? Oh, they were in here. Okay. Oh, jeez. I probably don't want to mess with this guy right now, but. Okay. Oh, there's two of them. Oh. Uh, okay. I 
don't even know where exactly that guy is at. <laughs> hey, Stephen Maniac. I will say that, like, when you get over the, uh, the ridiculous amounts of, oh god, I'm being sniped from every possible angle, this map gives me slight supplies vibes. Based on what I played in the demo of that. Oh, well, what could possibly go wrong? I'm hearing noises. I'm not sure where they're coming from. Oh, okay, yeah, it's arachnotron noises and it's coming from out there. Oh, but there's a switch. That's probably really what's gonna make me regret life. Oh, he's already dead, okay. Now, it occurs to me I should probably go and find a crosshair option and turn that on, because there is a lot of long-distance stuff going on here, and uh, I can't tell if I'm hitting things. Or we could try to run and gun it. Oh, okay, it's, that's probably the easiest way. That's what I usually do in Quake, also. There's a lot of rockets here. Oh, I did not mean to do that, but here we are. Uh, however, I wonder if I could get him from there. I don't know, let's, let's go retrace my steps. Since I un- oh, actually, I can use that. Still another one up there. Guess I'll come back for him. Didn't notice them before. There's still a commando in there. There he is. Okay. Oh, geez. Just in time to miss all of that. And I did the same exact thing again. Except on the other side. Hey, wait. Maybe there's something interesting over here. Or maybe not. Hey, Prime. An interesting looking Quake mod. Yeah. I don't know whether that's meant to troll me or Arlene more, actually. Because Major Arlene was talking about how on the previous map, Jazz Master's orange map, uh, she was saying people... That, that's where people start saying, oh, I thought this was Quake. Alright, that'll do it. Oh boy, yeah, you start uh, pushing the limits here. There's a lot of open area here. I probably should have saved somewhere. Ow. Yeah, like, when you combine just this much stuff going on and the supercharge uh, alterations, uh, this definitely becomes a very frenetic map. I haven't found... Oh, I did find... One secret at one point. All right, okay. Oh 
Okay, don't know where I missed him. Not who I was aiming at, but okay. Okay, I guess I can appreciate that they changed the Arachnatron's firing sound because it gets really obnoxious. It also feels like it sounds like something from, like, I don't know, Tyrion or something. Uh... Yeah, there were multiple boner projectiles going on there. That missed. I don't even know if I'm hitting him. Also, I have no armor anymore. Oh, well. Oh, shit. Well, that happened. Alright, where did I save? Four? Oh, good grief. You might not be wrong. At least, like, that they slightly sound like that. I am hitting him. I'm not hitting him enough, but... Where is the... Okay, there's the end. I don't think I'm going to be able to counter-snipe the end. I'm pretty sure I passed some other armor at some point, and I should probably go back for it. Oh, hi. There's also another direction I can go, apparently. This map is overwhelming in more ways than one. Oh, hi. Could you stop doing that? Jeez. At least there is a decent amount of health strewn around. Because you are going to get hit in this map. What is that noise? Ow. Okay, well there's armor there. That's not what I was thinking of, but... Oh, that's not very nice. That did not work. Oh, because that's those guys that make that noise. Oh, shit. Alright. Nope. No boy. I literally got shoved into a locker. Well, we're doing that again. Oh, yeah, so you can hear them in the sides here, I think, is what's happening. Whoops, I wasn't paying attention. Alright, well, we kind of know what's going to happen here. I guess I should save. I should not have switched to that weapon, then. I should have I should have waited until, the, uh, until after those guys.
Why, why do these cacodemons sound like a whoopee cushion when I'm hitting them? Like, they seriously make poot noises. <laughs> it's kind of hilarious. It's just I can't really take them seriously, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, so that just lowered something over there. That I immediately lost sight of. That wasn't a repeatable, was it? Actually, wait, where the heck was it? It was that- no, it's not repeatable. Okay. Just snippets of their death sound? I guess- I guess I could see that. Oh, okay, we have this now. Where the, yeah, where'd the Revenant go? Okay, he's- oh, jeez, hi. Alright, yes, I know, you have one too. Alright, was this where I was before? That's the exit. We've actually spotted the exit. Holy crap. Uh, of course, I need a key for it that I don't have. He was totally spacing out. Alright, so this is the other area that I got completely bombarded in before. Before I go through there, though... I should probably investigate... Was the plasma rifle what lowered before, or was there something else? I guess the plasma rifle might have been what actually lowered. Okay, he's dead. That guy's still up there from, like, the beginning of the level. I'll probably try to take him out, if at all possible. Oh, we got the same wind sound here as on the title screen, don't we? Actually, no, where the hell was that guy? <laughs> now I'm way too far back, and that's not actually where that Macubus was. That's right, I left the, uh, I left that Berserk pack there the entire time. And I ended up not needing it. Let's go back out here. Okay, there is more armor there, actually. I've got a little bit still here, though. Um... I'll just- I'll just be in here for a second. But yeah, this map clearly seems extremely ambitious with what it did. I guess maybe I should go do that thing on the other side, which is right here. And then you get over here, and then all hell breaks loose. There's a switch there. I don't know if I'm interested in that yet. Whoops. He was trying to get to me by other means. Okay, did we actually do it? What? Okay, oh, that's gonna open that, I guess. Alright. Alright, but why did this... Why is that a release switch? Does that mean that's gonna close on me as soon as I go in there?
Jeez, that guy tried to clear my sinuses out. Yeah, I deserved that. The heck is that? Boner skull. Yep, that closes that. Okay. Oh, hello. That also lowered not the key I was looking for, I don't think. But I suppose the key I deserved. Uh, okay, that took a couple tries. That was weird. I guess I maybe I was accidentally pushing between it. Or maybe only some of those actually have the trigger on it. I don't know. Uh, okay. So this seems like a very... Uh, oh, yep, okay. Oh, that hurt. Uh, you know what? I'm wondering if I'm gonna regret going for that armor now. Alright, now which side was I on? So let's save here, and then let's see what's down here. No, I've been down here. Alright, so what other purpose did this key I got have? Where else have we seen? Have we seen other blue key door stuff? Now I'm back at the beginning again. I keep doing this. I might as well reload. What is, what is the point of being up here? Maybe the point is to return me to the center so I can do something else. There's a blue set of bars. Somewhere out here, I'm assuming, is what you mean? Oh, wait, over here. I totally didn't see this side of things. Let me see what else I haven't seen. Okay, is the other guy dead or did he wander off really fast? Oh no, yeah, they're, they're both dead. Okay. Oh, we got this thing now. Alright. Uh, we also got all these guys. I'm just gonna go back down here. Could you not revive the boners, please? I have nine health all of a sudden. I did not realize I got that touched up. Holy crap. Fortunately, there's a bunch of health over here. <laughs> that was a little overkill. Oh, hi. Speaking of overkill, hi. Uh, somebody helped. Which weapon when I meant to just reload? More plants. Okay, no, remember when I said 
when I was saying this was reminding me of Supplice, that backdrop is reminding me of Supplice. Like, the, the very first part of Supplice, I'm pretty sure, has a backdrop just like that. Oh, hello. I think he's dead? Wait, what? Oh, you're over there. Okay. I'm not hitting him with everything. There we go. Alright, who else is... Yeah, I know he's still out there. Come on, jeez. There we go. Alright. Uh, before I pick up that supercharge, do I leave any other health around here that I should pick up first? Hey, we've, we've successfully, uh, touched grass. At least I'm assuming this is... Well, maybe it's moss. I don't know. It's from an old... Whoop. I just fell down an elevator. I've, I've been here already, haven't I? Or at least I've killed things here. Okay, yeah. Wait. Where is this? I haven't quite been here. I keep I keep needing to remember to switch back to this gun now that I have the flag cannon or whatever. An old pack called Argent Agents Skyfi. Grass successfully. <laughs> okay, it is technically a grass texture. Okay, good. Uh, barrels all of a sudden. Remember those? Those exist. not like... Wait, hang on. I don't know if that did any damage to him whatsoever. I was hoping it would, but I don't know if that's a thing. Hey, we got almost... Wait. <laughs> I, I've made Poverty Fire Blue. Because that's not really Fire Blue, but it kind of looks like it now. Also, there's a switch there. Yo, I actually have full rockets. Jeez, okay. Uh, so this is a switch that we don't know what kinds of terrible things will happen. And also, all of this was because I got sidetracked, right? What was I actually doing? I fell off of this elevator or something, is what I was doing. I just want to make sure there's nothing else around here, like those guys. And whatever that is. Oh, okay, that's a uh, scrap ammo. You're telling me there's no waterfall secret? Come on. I can't believe there's still an Arachnatron that's mad at me, like, that far away. Oh, shit. Oh, there's two of them that are mad at me still. There goes a chunk of my health for no reason. Alright, let's go back to what I was doing. Uh, they're probably, like, right above me right now. Oh, yeah, they are. I can actually kind of see them. Yeah, 
you know what? This is payback. You guys sniped me that many times. It's only fair. This might not be the same ones for that matter. If you were in a Ragnatron, you'd be mad at everything. I mean, everything would probably also be mad at you, so... Oh, we've, we've still got more uh, Mancubi, too, apparently. Yeah, all the way over there. Alright, let me go back to what I was doing, though. Which was, I was about to hit this switch and have horrible things happen to me. Ah, well, there's the uh, key we were looking for. Oh, hi. You're over here. Oh, a lot of you are over here. Could we maybe talk this out? Alright, that works. I ran right into that. I am surprised they managed to squeeze out of there at exactly the right moment to basically make that work. Now where am I? Clearly this is somewhere I've already been. This also gives me, I mean like just like this layout and the way it like reconnects to things also kind of maybe reminding me of supplies. Which, like, by the way, anytime I compare things to Supplice, that's a good thing. Because Supplice is really freaking good. Oh, hello, where did he come from? Yeah, so this is Breakpoint. Uh, a pack of nine maps put together by Major Arlene and a few others. Using And the, the mod it's using in terms of the weapons and enemies is Supercharge. There's still another Arachnatron somewhere. Oh, maybe I should get rid of this guy too. Oh, the Arachnatron's all the way over there. Uh, a couple of those might have hit. Yeah, pretty sure he's dead. Let's go see if I can take care of this guy. Although I'm not quite sure from where. Maybe, maybe back here? Maybe not. Because there's also another one that's still angry at me. Wasn't this where I took care of one before? I may be getting my sides of the map confused. Alright, so we have... We technically have the exit key. There's, like, six enemies left or something, and I only found one secret. And there's probably an enemy in here. Yep. That is a different type of archfile? What are you do- Okay, you're- Wait, what? Hang on. Oh, there's another one. I was like, why did that still attack me? It's because there's two of them. And the other one's, like, back there. So that's a fine how-do-you-do. How are you not dead yet? Alright, so this one's more like a classic arch vial. The other one actually dead? No. I shot like six rockets at it at least, but some of them just hit the wall. Okay. So now there's just the matter of whatever Mancubi and Arachnatrons are left. That is not what I wanted. Uh, he may or may not be dead. I think he's dead. There's an imp left somewhere. And then there's also... Another Arachnatron. Who also can't hit me for some reason? 
I don't know if I'm hitting him either. I don't know if there's a better place to hit him from. That's definitely hitting him, though. There we go. Two enemies left. As for secrets... Oh boy. That could be anybody's guess. I'm, I'm heavily tempted to think the secret exit could be in this map, but I have no idea. Am I just hearing the wind or am I hearing enemies? Alright, where was that imp that I left alone while I was worrying about spiders? It is getting deleted from GOG also. So... I don't know what the hell Epic is smoking. Like, why do they think that's a good idea? Uh, I own the, uh... I own Unreal Gold and Unreal 2 on Steam. I know they've been delisted, but I... As far as I know, I still have access to them. I'm wondering if that will ever change. And whether I should, like, actually download the games and, like, try to back them up. When you say publisher, what publisher is that exactly? Because I'm assuming we mean not Epic. So that was a switch I hit before. That's really sad, though. I still have yet to play Unreal. Okay, so probably the same thing with Steam, then. So I don't have it on GOG, I only have it on Steam. I'm actually kind of surprised that I have it on Steam and not GOG, but for some reason, I do. Oh. Alright, well we found one of the other secrets. Just poke a flickering wall and get armor. Kinda wanna save, just in case I do something incredibly dumb with one of the two only, you know, the only two other enemies remaining. Yeah, I was trying to remember whether Epic was only the developer or also the publisher on that. But yeah, it doesn't make sense to me why they would want to kill their own history that bad. It's like, isn't their public perception already going down the shitter enough just because of EGS and whatever else? And now they want to, like, actually delete the only, like, positive things people remember them for? Like, why, why would you do that? But yeah, it's funny how, like, I can even see this, uh... Thanks for that subscription. I, you know, funny story. I don't think I've ever actually had that alert go off. So congratulations if... If my memory is not faulty, and that is indeed the first time I have heard that alert go off during a stream. You don't often hear it go off because, um, resubscriptions on Patreon happen, like, automatically. It's the same- so it's the same alert sound that I used to use back when I was a Twitch affiliate. Um, but back then you would hear it for resubs, and you don't hear it for resubs with Patreon because they just automatically happen behind the scenes. But, uh, thanks a lot, I'm gonna... actually, let me go and see if I have an email about that. Hang on. Oh, it was Waxgoat. Thanks, Waxgoat, I appreciate that. Unfortunately, uh, the way I have it hooked up, I don't have the ability to, <laughs> to see who it is in the alert. Hey, I'm back at the beginning of the map again. But yeah, I'm gonna have to update my break screen, too. When I go to break. It's sort of like semi-automatic. I push a couple of buttons and it happens, but I have to push a couple of buttons. You know, there's, there's all these neat little set pieces in this map, too, that I thought, like, something might actually, like, happen to. Like, there was also, like, the rotating, like, turbine-like things that the, uh, that the boner dudes were on these over here. 
I swear this reminds me of something out of like Dark Forces or something. There's, there's just so much, like this map is huge and there's also a ton of detail. And also, how many enemies were there? Was it 200 something on, uh, on Hurt Me Plenty? Yeah, I guess so. Like, comparative to the other two maps we have played so far, this feels like Otex, uh, not Otex, uh, like Eternity Map 32, in comparison, just by, like, how much this is just, like, a gargantuan effort, it feels like. I'm still only two out of four secrets, right? I'm kind of just meandering around seeing if I stumble across anything at this point. But I should probably actually move on. <laughs> Lord. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I know. I, I always I appreciate you always uh, hanging out and lurking because I know very often you're uh, you're in here at the beginning and you leave a quick cheers. So certainly appreciate that. I'm glad uh, people can get enjoyment out of it because I usually don't know what the hell I'm doing really. Look at me looking up thinking this is a quake map. Like maybe there's a secret on the ceiling. No, that's not how this works. That should mean it should be easier for me to find secrets in Doom maps, but who knows. Hey look, I made some more mock fire blue over there. Alright, so this is here to, to tell you that, like, this is where the exit is, dummy. <laughs> it's like, if you got lost, this is where it is. I should probably go ahead and exit at this point. This is also making a noise. Is it possible to make shootable fl like floors and ceilings? I don't know. Major Arlene was was wondering about that herself before, like, not sure how you would do it. I gotta think someone's managed to do it. That is a that is a switch. I have no idea what it did. Oh, it opened this. There's a third secret. Right near the that's the second berserk pack we found. Actually, I completely like just avoided picking up the first one. That's funny that you can, like, try to climb up this, but you can't really. Alright, well, we got three out of four. You know what, let's look at the map and just admire it for a second. Uh, how do I zoom this thing? How do I zoom this thing? The keys that I thought would zoom it don't zoom it. Uh... Is this in the controls somewhere? Yeah, map controls. I was pressing the keys below the correct keys. Man, has it been that long since I played Doom? Alright, so I'm pretty sure the stuff out here is scenery, although... There's something slightly suspicious at the bottom there, but that might be on raised ground that I can't actually access anyway. Is there anything else I should look at? What is over there? That might be a switch I've already hit, but there might be something over there. But yeah, this map has certainly been an experience. Alright, so... We want to check up on a couple of things. I think I did just say, but just in case. Can I go anywhere from here? Yes, I can go this way. And I think down here is where I want to go? Uh, it might be the next one over. I also never did kill the last one enemy. Is it because there was, like, a, an open thing in here? Is it, That must be what it is, yeah. Because this is actually beyond the boundary. Okay, so that's probably nothing. Alright, so what was the other thing we wanted to check? Yeah, see, here's the other Berserk pack. Is the other imp up here? Yes, he is. And I used the wrong weapon again. Did we do it? Yeah, I didn't... I barely even saw him die from there. Alright, we've killed everything. So, now the only threat to me is myself. 
So, alright, yeah, I was thinking this was probably this area. The question is, is there anywhere that I can, like, get into out here? So, yeah, the thing... The thing that's hiding is... Oh, wait, is this... I thought maybe this could be raised, but it doesn't look like it. So the mouse is making it look like there's something like up there or something, or maybe maybe it's on this side. Yeah, I guess it's technically on this side, but I don't think there's any way for me to get up there, so I think it's nothing. For some reason, that one little alcove up there looks explorable. All right, the one other thing. I don't think I can get up there either, because it kind of looks like there's something out of line of sight over there, too. Alright, well, it was worth- it was worth a try. It does feel like this area could easily hold, like, a secret passage or something. But it doesn't seem to be the case. Alright, well, we might be settling for three secrets then, in, in the interest of moving on. I figure I will probably... Chances are I'll probably end up having to come back around to look for the secret exit at some point. There was already the last licks right here with the, uh... The Berserk was right around here, right? Somewhere. So I don't... I don't think it's likely that there's another secret in the exit area. gonna have another fade to black. Oh, it's suddenly purple. Alright, I'm immediately guessing that another Arlene map is coming next because they're transitioning to purple. Oh, fade to white. Alright, I was mistaken. Alright. Yeah, I, j I just spent, like, f at least 45 minutes on that, and that's not counting reloads, so... <laughs> Alright. That was quite the map. That was that was easily accounting for, like, as much time as the first two put together in terms of playtime. And that was by Guard Soul. Alright. Well, Guard Soul has put in some serious amount of, uh, I mean, not, not to belittle anybody else, but, like, that was a ton of effort that must have gone into this map. Holy crap. Uh, new, now entering Trip Hazard. Ah, yes, I had a feeling it would be this map. So, so, real talk, um, I actually, I'm pretty sure I use a screenshot from this map as a terminal background. <laughs> on my work machine. I have, like, a bunch, like, I have, like, on two of my desktops I have, uh, screenshots from the deep. And then I have a, uh, I think on my... Actually, on the laptop that I use while I'm streaming, I have... I think I have a... Or for a while, I had a background from one of the Breakpoint screenshots. I think I switched it to pictures of Smokey and Joey from Rupert83. But, um... I still use, uh... I still use pictures from Breakpoint for terminal backgrounds on my work and personal machines. <laughs> um... Oh, this is a Prime Mini? Oh, that's true, we haven't talked about who's made the music for these. I'm assuming Jimmy makes appearances. But, um, that's pretty cool. Alright. Well, I'll let this music play. I'm gonna take a quick break, and then we'll come, and I'm definitely curious to see what this map's all about when we get back in a couple minutes. <laughs> the tubular bell's gonna get a real old real fast. Hey, look. It's December, so at least you've got an excuse. Um, I mean, okay, I don't know if you actually, like, knew this was gonna be used in a map released in December, but here you go. Um, so let's, let's see, we're into... what was the name of this again? I know, yes, I'm gonna get hit right away. It's called Trip Hazard. I'm gonna reset that, and we're gonna get started. I, I, uh... I do have to say, I respect maps when they avoid having enemies, like, shooting at you immediately, but, uh... I know sometimes you can't avoid it. Uh, let's get the timer rolling again. Oh, 
Oh yeah, okay, so this immediately reminds me of the the beginning of what I feel like there's a little bit of like I can't believe it's not Startan going on here. Um this reminds me of the beginning of the deep. These gonna require keys? Yes, okay. Oh, I remember you playtesting this one on your stream once. Because I, I specifically, I feel like I specifically remember this platform. Uh, hi. Oh, I see. We've got three butt hugs. Oh jeez. Yep, more more free butt hugs. Uh yes, that hurt. Is that that's the scrap gun again, okay. Yeah, that's the, uh, the Grenadiers have the, uh, the grenade bounce sound from Quake 1. I don't know if it's worth my time to mess with that guy right now. Oh, also, those guys are stuck in a room over there, I guess. Uh, gee, I wonder what's gonna happen when I hit this switch. Oh, nothing, because I can't. But there's a door over here. Thanks, door. You're helping. Please, door. Okay. Took us like three tries, but we got him. Also, then his jibs just like rained down on my head. Oh, hi. Um. Yeah, so last time I was good about not letting these guys attack. Oh, okay. Well, at least I got his arm off so he couldn't do that again. Honestly, I, th I thought Rocket Block It was intentional. I think we can call him that from now on. Hello, what's going on here? Some kind of, like, uh, I don't know, Pink Floyd album viewing? What? Hi. Do we finally have Scrags? I was waiting for the Scrags. When I saw... I, I was seeing some of the impulse before, and I immediately thought of the Scrags. With the trailing, uh, the trailing bullets. Yeah, Rocket Blocker. That can totally fit on one of those, you know, boomer commercials. Alright, so what's actually... Oh, jeez. Somehow I feel like I was supposed to get pinned in there, and I did. Although, I can't, I can't get out, so I guess that's just as well. And I'm dead. Alright. So, yeah, we go in here, and then we need to get the blue key to get out. It's one of those. Apparently, it's also a Caco Blacko. You can't have Scrags and Doom. She already did it in the deep, so. I'm glad that the rocket arm comes off first. Alright, before we go that way. What if I were to go this way instead? I'm trying to preserve that armor. Oh, we have another blue door. Okay. Alright, so over there we have the, the stack of balls bottles. Wait, where did the, uh... Where did the scrag go? Oh, there you are. Actually, it's kind of funny. There's somewhere in between scrags and, uh... The sorcerer dudes and heretic, because the sorcerer dudes like to do the the three bullets. How did that hit me? I thought I was off to the side. I guess not. Actually, also the the sound of that bullet when it collides is actually a heretic sound. I think. I should probably just take this now. Uh, this is probably not going to go well. They- 
Okay. So that's what's happening. They don't all go in one direction. They pick which direction they go when they start moving. Uh, I didn't save in there. Whoops, okay. So I guess, yeah, there's a door on either side. I didn't even realize that before. So you can go in either way. God damn it. We still have the Scrags. Don't forget the Scrags. But yeah, wait for the bullets to start moving. Uh, given that I do live here now, I'm gonna put a separate file. Oh, jeez, we got those, too? Actually, what the heck are those guys doing? They're not the usual pain elemental. Uh, they seem to be poot elementals instead. Okay, did we actually survive? What was that other projectile? Oh. Probably this guy. Yep. Alright, so they also shoot things at you. Oh, so there's totally a thing back there. And that is technically a secret. Very classy blue key. Now we can get out. And now we can hit this and fight a bunch of other dudes. Right, it was the, it was the imp waiting room from before. I forgot. Interesting. Is that like a recolored? Is that Otex or was that like Doom sixty four or something? The texture on the sides up there. I feel like I've seen that in other contexts. Oh, well, that's not very nice. Okay, it was only three of them. It's not as unkind as I was worried it would be. It is Otax? Okay. Guess I didn't realize that was actually Otax. And it's been, you know, it's been a while since I played Ever Eternity, so... Okay. Uh, wait, so what did we accomplish there? Look at all those guys. Uh, we can use the Red Skull Key in the main room again, I guess, is what we should be doing now. Whoops. And then that raises a different... Okay, that's, that's neat. I don't know why I decided to rocket that imp in particular. Oh, jeez. Yep, that's Grenaders. We have platforming suddenly. On our way to the red key to eventually do that, I guess. Yeah, actually, so I call them Scrags, but like they even halfway look like the uh, the sorcerer dudes. Uh oh boy. 
Well, that's gonna be interesting. Yeah, I can't hit him from here. <laughs> some are very D64, some are very heretic, some are very much Quake. Kind of like, which thing should I prioritize first? Oh, I forgot about the Stomper. Mostly because I think I found it super late in, uh, in the Deep, which is the only other supercharged map I've played. Um, because I think it's in the Secret in the Deep. So I actually don't even remember, like, what sets it apart. So I'm gonna have to find out by using it. Uh, can we do anything else in here besides... Okay. I wasn't actually even expecting that to work. Because it's red, so I thought it would be like the other things that require the red key, but... Nope, you actually get to use that one. Also, I'm just realizing that the... Um, the death effects of those guys, the, or the poot effects, as I was calling it before. Um, totally like the, uh, is it the cleric's flechettes in Hexen that leave the stink bombs? I think it's the cleric that does that. I realize I didn't end up using the Stomper for that. Interesting that it actually doesn't prioritize the Stomper. Whereas, on the other buttons, it tends to prioritize the, the heavier weapon. I think Cleric was what I played as when I played Hexen in 2020. Because I had, back when I was a kid, the parts of Hexen I had played, I had played as Barbarian. And I didn't want to put myself through Mage. I thought that would be rough. But yeah, especially since you get the lifesteal on the Serpent Staff or whatever. No shortage of backpacks in this uh, map set, I'll say that. Alright, and then we get to uh, say hello to all these lovely folks. Oh, that's right, yeah, the... is that the Wraith Verge or whatever the heck it's called? Probably getting the name slightly wrong. Ah, right, that's what that does. I'm sure that wall deserved all the shots that it just took, because I totally missed the other guy. Oh, hi. More, more butt hugs. See, this is where I would swear I'm playing a Quake map, because Quake mappers love to teleport enemies in on your butt. If they're good, they'll find more organic means to do it. I know there, were, there was one of the maps in the 2021 Christmas Jam I feel like I remember giving credit to, because it actually, like, found a more inventive way to do that rather than literally just teleporting them in. <laughs> but a lot of times they'll see them just teleport in. Uh, okay, so this was actually above that, and I guess we can get back to the room that way. There's only one other secret. I was kind of wondering if I could, like, step up to one of these platforms somehow, but maybe not. Actually, what is up here? Okay, no, that does get us back. Never realized the loop on the track skips. I haven't actually been paying enough attention to notice that either. Uh, wait, so we just got the red key, right? So we're doing this one now? <laughs> Bonk. See, if this were Quake, I would have just taken damage. Or gotten crushed if it was like the buggy elevator in Ionis' map in the Christmas 2021 jam.
is not dead, is it? Oh, hello. He's not expecting you. Barely dodged that one. Alright, yeah, I knew he was almost dead. another imp up there or something. Uh, I don't need that armor yet, but I guess we can take this uh, supercharge and see what's in here. It wasn't intended to be a map track. Oh, okay. Was it supposed to be a title for something? That would make more sense with the bells, too, I guess. Story message theme for Resurgence. Oh, okay. It's really disorienting seeing a pain elemental that's not a pain elemental. It's like, alright, as long as you don't spawn at Lost Souls incessantly, I'm fine with you. Okay, this room also looks like... Well, this particularly looks like something straight out of the deep also. Like, I, maybe these same textures were even used, actually. And a different color of this one certainly was. Oh, that's right, I actually have the plasma rifle and I have not used it at all. Which... Oh, does this also reload? Yeah, it does. I actually do have almost full cell ammo. Hmm, maybe I should use that on something. Oh, jeez. actually kind of low on rockets, so maybe I should use it here. I forgot about the little beep beep when you stop, uh, when you let off the trigger fi finger. Hey, Chili Bus, this is, uh, so the reason that a couple people have asked if it's Brutal Doom is, uh, because it's using this supercharge mod. Um, but this is Breakpoint. Oh, hello. Were you up there the entire time? No, wait. Was that one flying? It didn't have legs. All right, that's new on me. I don't know if I've ever seen him flying this before. All right, he's dead. But yeah, this is Breakpoint. It's uh, it's in public beta now. You can find it on Doom World. It's super cool. You should definitely check it out. And also other maps by Major Arlene, who really likes Supercharge, including including the Deep, which I did music for. Yeah, I don't, I don't know the names of any of these, so I'm just making them up as I go along. Yeah, and there's actually, like, it uses the Doom 64 item pickup sound for item bonuses as well. But yeah, it definitely makes things a little more fast-paced. Uh, this is where I came from, right? Yeah, okay. I s what? Okay. Oh, hi. Okay. I, I see. That's what we were doing. I'm in a very bad place. I don't remember the last time I saved. It was probably pretty recent, though. But yeah, uh, old Thunder Cheeks over here is a good reason for everything to shake, I guess. You know, twerking is probably his wake up. Okay, that that did damage faster than I expected it to. It's like it's weird gauging the uh, the modified plasma rifle because it feels like it might have less impact because it's like f faster rate of fire and smaller projectiles and stuff. <laughs> Thank you. 
but yeah, they gave us a bunch of cells, too. I have to wonder whether I've missed a bigger weapon in a secret somewhere. Oh, and this is the exit. Okay. And I think this is leading into the aesthetic of another map. So e each map seems to, like, lead into the next one a little bit aesthetically. Because I remember seeing a map... Um... With this kind of aesthetic. And I'm trying to remember... I'm trying to guess which one it is. I think I may have seen the next map, too, a little bit. Um... I think I did just save anyway. I figure there's probably very little chance of the secret being in here, so I figure I'll go back and look around a little bit. Lots of different rock textures going on in here. Hello, what's this? Suddenly everything is monochrome. I didn't know you could do that. So, uh, apparently, um... Is this, like, inverse Wizard of Oz? Oh, hello. Uh, yeah, I would like to not be here. Oh, I would very like to not be here. There's the exit. I, I feel like... I feel like the Archvile is being a little counterproductive. Is it dead? I think it's dead. I I think it, it revived something and then immediately killed it again. Okay, now everything's dead. Yeah. Spectre was helping. Uh there are still a few enemies left. Alright, so there's an extra switch in here. This seems secrety. Um what? So that said secret discovered. Before I even pushed the switch. Oh, hello. I have said that a lot tonight. Have we found the secret exit? I think we might have found the secret exit. I think we found the secret exit. So there you go, mission accomplished. We didn't miss it. Alright, so yeah, very cool map in terms of, like, just, you know, visual theme and variation throughout. Break. Is the whole thing going to be monochrome now? Man. So this is going to be interesting because sometimes when you when you throw things into all monochrome, um, sometimes that causes like contrast issues, so it'll be interesting to see how this fares. Gotta get to sleep. Hey, at least you got to see me find the secret exit. But yeah, um, this will I'll, I'll be highlighting the pl all the playthrough. I'll post it on YouTube eventually as well. Uh, but yeah, sure. Thanks, uh, thanks, Major Arlene, for hanging out during the stream. Sorry to, I mean, I, I'm sorry to take you out of your Mass Effect if you were doing that. Um, <laughs> yeah, right. Doom. This is the noir. So it's funny because I was joking about this being alkaline for Doom. Apparently, it's also Funk Map Jam 8 film noir theme for Doom as well. Um, but yeah, thanks Prime for hanging out as well. Glad to see that some of your stuff got used in here as well. Um, but everyone's done an awesome job with this from what I've played so far, and it's super interesting, and definitely uh, glad I'm finally getting to play it now that it's in beta. So, yeah, we'll keep going. I will probably be doing this, hopefully I'll be doing this tomorrow night as well, because I doubt I'm going to finish it tonight. But uh, have a good night, those of you who are going off to sleep. And let's take a look at the... Uh, <laughs> Always a pleasant surprise to hear an old mini make it that will come back. Yeah. Oh, dude. Oh, man. This is this is brutalist gem written all over it too. All right. 
Oh. Well, that's a good start. Hi. Ironically, this is an idea taken from a bridge burner map and you're happy to watch a friend play Doom. Mass Effect can always be done another day. <laughs> Alright, well, I appreciate you, you hanging out. Have a good night. And I hope you continue to feel better, too. Oh, I have no armor. Yeah, I really, other than, like, the one... Actually, I forget. I think I played, like, one map of each of the Elementalism episodes, and I haven't played the full thing yet. So I ended up playing Bridgeburner's map in that, because I think he did F1. Um, but other than that and Age of Hell stuff that I'm assuming he had a hand in in the demo, like, that's the only Bridgeburner stuff that I've touched so far. Because I really haven't gotten to that much Doom stuff. Alright, we got another big door. Also, yeah, the, the mini choices have been pretty good so far, too. I really like what's uh, what's been matched together in here. <laughs> why is there... Why is there an upside-down Arachnatron? This is like the upside-down Vors we see sometimes. Alright, well, it's dead. Does it fall down when it's dead? Yes, okay. Yo, nice, nice slap base going on in here, too. The slap base there almost reminds me of something that'll like... Uh-oh, oh, that's, that's probably death? That's not death. Okay. I'm glad it doesn't kill you. Uh, hi. Just, like, silently teleport two Hell Knights in front of me. Okay. Didn't do it behind me, though. back there. Actually, yeah, I am super low on rockets, holy crap. Yeah, so this is like totally and I mean I can I can believe this was inspired by something by Bridgeburner, because yeah, Bridgeburner does do uh <clears throat> So, it's kind of funny, because on the one hand, Bridgeburner does tons of curvy stuff, but on the other hand, sometimes he goes brutalist, too. I know he's done some stuff like that. <laughs> Hang on one second. I was about to lose some water down the wrong pipe, and that would not have been fun. But yeah, this has actually been super cool to play with the added perspective of the Quake stuff that I have played this year, actually. So it's actually kind of fortuitous that this did actually take, uh, you know, that it did release in December after I had a chance to play the Brutalist Jam. So those projectiles work really well on the monochrome, actually. Oh, there's a switch right there. Okay, so yeah, we tried to signpost this as strongly as possible, and I almost ignored it anyway. Do I have, like, full scrap ammo? Yes, I do. One more switch to go. You, I mean, that's something you would see in a Quake level. I suppose maybe I should actually take that. It's like I always, like, prolong picking up health items. Is this where I came from? This is where I came from, yeah. The other... Wait, this is not the one I hit before, right? Yes, this is the other one. Barricades have been lowered. Now, where did I see the barricades? Oh, over here. What the 
gonna hit scanners first. Wait, he used it? I didn't think I actually killed him. Also, it seems like I caught that one imp sleeping. Damn, that was a very quick wake up. Man, sometimes this thing can be super accurate. Which, I mean, I suppose that's true of the, uh, the stock shotgun as well, like in, in vanilla. The way that one of those blaster shots made the light move around it made me think there was a specter right next to me for a second. I think he's dead. Also, which weapon is that? Because whatever it is, I I guess it's the scrap... I was thinking it was the scrap gun, and I guess it is because I'm still full on that. Alright, so this is gonna do that. Yep. Also, honestly, like, playing this really does make me want to, like, try to get back into MIDI composition. This is a really good track. Alright, kind of got touched up a bit there. Now I should be able to pick up this stuff. <laughs> I was like, I can hit that again, right? Yes. I just need to actually hit it. Is there... Wait, is there anything else to do up here? Also, there's only one secret. Haven't gotten it yet. Mancubus somewhere. Alright, so that's gonna release that elevator. I also really like, like, um, Supercharge has some, like, higher fidelity variations on on classic sounds as well. Oh, there he is. Okay. Oh, he's dead. Oh wow, so now I'm like way above the beginning. This is like on top of the thing that the spider was on the underside of, probably. What are we doing now? I can't tell what kind of armor that is, because everything is monochrome. I'm guessing it's blue, but I honestly have no idea. I kind of don't want to pick all the stuff up yet. Oh boy. Oh right, this has to reload. It can be a little easy to miss the, uh... The Cacodemon projectiles. Oh, okay, they're actually angry at him.
Uh, that Cacodemon is lodged in the wall. There's an upside down Arch Vial. So that's uh, interesting, and it just killed me. Oh, they're called Exiles, okay. I'm assuming I'm assuming they're always called that, and it's not just because it's upside down. Also, I, I never actually picked up the health and armor that I obviously should have picked up. Let's try that again. What? There's upside down imps, too. How do you do this? Does everything have to reload? Oh boy. Alright, what can I do if I go down here? I'm probably gonna have to try this again anyway. This definitely feels like a bridge burner map now. <laughs> like just the structure of this area. Uh so he's all the way up there. Yeah, this is so tall, it's a little bit problematic. Okay, so the arch file is in the middle. No way I'm gonna get him with the rocket launcher, it's too far away. Sometimes. God damn it. Oh, jeez. How am I having such a hard time hitting him? There we go. Okay. There's probably still a bunch of imps up here. Oh, I didn't realize that wraps around. Well, that's a little awkward, because you can't really see them very well from there. Oh, it's like shooting clay pigeons. That's actually kind of hilarious. Oh, there's still another one. What? Did he land up there somewhere? Okay, uh, I'm almost dead. I don't even know what that switch did. Actually, wait, was there more stuff in here? Yeah, I never actually went in the middle. Okay, I am no longer almost dead, so that's an improvement. But yeah, it's like, you always end up... Doom always feels a little overstretched, kind of literally when you have really, really tall vertical rooms like this and you end up having to face enemies that are way above or below you when they become, like, they, they very visibly become cardboard cutout mode. Uh, okay, that's a new boy. I would like to get rid of him first. Okay, I think he's dead. 
Oh, jeez. Uh, hi. Guess what? It's hard to see specters when everything is monochrome. I mean, okay, it's hard to see specters normally. That's why they're specters. Uh, I think they made that one angry. Oh, I'm getting hit scan. I didn't even need that much health. And we got another supercharge. Jeez. Okay. Oh, can I actually get up to where those guys were, I guess? Okay. Get all their stuff. That's nice. This is a super cool area right here. And actually, now that I think about it, I was saying before that I was using uh, screenshots from that uh, that Major Arlene had posted to Twitter from this pack uh, as my terminal backgrounds. I'm pretty sure I'm using a screenshot from this map as my terminal background for Commander on Windows. And then I'm using one of the ones from the purple map that we just played before on my work machine. You're on the ceiling again, aren't you? Yup. Oh, that is not what I expected. Okay. Actually, this section kind of has Quake 2 vibes to it. I mean, you know, other than the upside down ceiling is. That that part doesn't. Oh shit. I barely got out of there in time. Wow, he can like start up again before he even finishes. Alright. And those do not interrupt when they die. Okay. Uh that's all that's over here, huh? Okay, so that's a uh, somewhat literal dead end, because that guy's a little fierce in that situation. Don't forget to check for ceiling imps. Hey, Elegy, welcome. Thanks for the raid. I am, uh, I'm playing the Doom uh, pack that we were talking about last night that I al had it alluded to. So this is called Breakpoint. Welcome, everybody. This is a really cool pack by Major Arlene and a group of other mappers. Uh, it just released public beta, like, yesterday, I think. Um, I am in the secret map right now. And, uh, as you can see, everything is- do not attempt- do not attempt to adjust your television. Everything is actually monochrome. So, some really cool stuff going here. There's, like, some brutalist architecture. There's some architecture kind of resembling Quake 2, I would say. Uh, this is all using the Otex texture pack, which was, uh... I believe it was first unveiled with Ev Eternity, Which was a pack that came out a couple of years ago now. The Elegy, wh what were you up to? Were you still playing the same thing as last night, or did you- you finished that last night, didn't you? Or that was what I had assumed. The, uh, the overblood. As opposed to the underblood. I'm assuming tonight was a different game? Oh, Disaster Report, okay. Have you- had you played Disaster Report 3 before? Because I know you have played one or more Disaster Reports. Parentheses S. It's fun, you like it, you're fucking beat. Yeah. 
But at, at least, hopefully, it's a proper disaster report. Because I know you were talking about, like, how uh, some parts of Overblood reminded you of that. You've done one and two. Okay. I know I've watched you play at least one of them in a previous December, a previous Island of Misfit games, which is the thing that Elegy does in December, celebrating um, various uh, scale of terrible games where they, where some of them wrap around to exquisite. It's never released in the West as a fan translation. Okay. Uh, so unfortunately, again, I don't know which type of armor that is. I kind of want to think that might be a green armor. It looks like it might be brighter than the blue one was. Do we have more ceiling imps? I heard imps. Oh no, they're 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 regular wall imps. Cause yeah, this stage has ceiling imps. Oh, there you go. There's one right there. That that one was in a very bad place. Uh, but yeah, so the reason why uh, this might not look... So this is Jeezy Doom. Uh, if it looks unfamiliar to those of you who have played Doom, the reason why is because this also uses a mod called Supercharge, which uh, changes up enemies and weapons and stuff, and makes a lot of, uh, a lot of cool, satisfying tweaks. Alright, so what kind of armor is this? That is indeed green armor. I had a feeling. I might as well take it, though. I don't actually know what the heck I'm doing in this section. Like, I don't know what my, uh... What my goal is. Why is there, like, one light over here? That seems... Suspicious. It is suspicious. Okay. Well, now we have 200 of everything anyway. Was that... There was only one secret, right? We just found it. Alright, nice. There, were, there was one bit of light there that was like, why is that there? There's nothing like that anywhere else. But was there anything else in here? Because, like, this feels like it should be a central area with a thing to get. Now, which, which, if you're, uh, if you're around, which system was Disaster Report 3 on? Was that PS2 or something? I forget, forget which, which ones of those games were on which system. I forget how many generations that has transcended. PSP, oh wow, alright. Okay. Oh, the first two were on PS2, okay. I did think I seemed to remember it being sort of PS2 era aesthetic when I saw you play a previous one. Alright, so we can't... We're not allowed to go out there. Let me zoom in this map a bit. That is presumably where I came from. Have I been down here? Signs point to yes. Where have I not been? Uh, maybe all the way down there. Looks like that's unexplored, maybe? Oh no, it just, it transitions the map. It's actually doing like a, a soft teleport or something. That's what they do sometimes in, uh, oh, I haven't been over here though. That's really unfortunate that that keeps hitting the wall. Alright, that'll do. But yeah, I don't always do FPS stuff during the week, uh, for those of you who are new. Um, I do tend to play Quake on weekends, that is a thing I've been doing for a while that I call Better Quake Than Never. Um, and actually, the amount of Quake stuff I've played has actually lent some interesting perspective to some of the maps, some of the map design in this pack. Um, one of these years, I want to get into playing more Doom stuff anyway, so this is a nice, you know, glimpse into what modern UDMF mapping looks like. Yeah, I haven't been on this side either. Oh, more ceiling imp? What? Oh, I can shoot through that, huh? Alright, that's surprising. I actually learned just today that Disaster Report 4 was supposed to be released on PS3 in 2011, but was cancelled. It was finally released on the PS4 in 2018. Yeah, I feel like I remember hearing about that coming out. 
Actually, it might have even been... Elegy, did you talk about that in one of your streams a couple of years back? Because I feel like that might have been where it came up. Okay, before I get lost to what I need to do now, let's go back over here and actually do things. I uh, don't want to hit the wrong button. Uh, did you ever uh, talk about Disaster Report 4 back when it came out? Because I feel like I do remember that being a thing that came up somewhere. Sorry to bring you back. <laughs> sorry, to, sorry to at you again. Okay, that did not do what I thought it was going to do. I thought it was going to be an elevator. Oh, hello, there's dudes out there. <clears throat> yeah, I don't remember, given that it would have been a couple of years ago when it came, when it first hit uh, PS4 anyway. Alright, now the question is, what is the right way to go about this? Hehehe. <laughs> Post-show post cleanup very slowly, <clears throat> followed by post-show wind down even more slowly. That's that's how it tends to work, right? Uh, so I'm out here now. But where was where was the dude that was tromping around? <clears throat> like, did I come out the wrong way? Because there was definitely a Hell Knight or something, just wandering around. And now I'm a little worried. Let's take another look from down here. Where is that? I have no idea where that is, relative to where I am right now. It's below the level that I'm on here. So I guess either way I have to go out first. But then... I don't know, because part of me thinks, like, what if I'm missing something? What if I'm overlooking another part of that area? Given that, you know, I just hit a switch in there and something opened? Yeah, I feel like, what if I'm not supposed to get out of there yet? So I'm gonna go back in one more time. Also, why is this... Oh. Wait. No, that's where I just hit the switch. Okay. It's a little... It's unfortunately a little confusing because of the way that the map warps around when you're in this section. It makes it harder to follow where exactly you're supposed to end up. Okay, no, yeah, it's, it's down... So it's... It would be that way, except I can't go that way. Oh, it's this. Uh, that guy is not paying attention. Uh, well, he's down there now. I don't know if that'll warp him back up somewhere. Uh, there's still guys down there. Also, yes, the cacodemons make little poot noises when you hit them. Which I think is hilarious. It's, it's like they're springing a leak. Uh, I think he found me for a split second there. Oh, yeah, he's... He's down there. Uh, unfortunately, this might actually be Death Pit. I cannot see anything down here. Nope, apparently it's not Death Pit, but it did just waste a whole bunch of my uh, Megasphere, unfortunately. Feels like you if, if there's a way out of that, it should be much better lit so you know where the heck to go and don't just lose all your health. because I had no idea where I was going. If there was something visible that I stepped in, I I don't know what it was. Oh, hello. Whoops.
Oh, there's more dudes. So their bullets actually kind of home in a little bit. Isn't there another one? Ah, uh, this is this is the section that the screenshot came on came from that I used for my uh, Windows uh, Commander terminal background. It seems a little weird that I'm catching some of these guys by surprise. Okay, he's dead. Fortunately, I haven't given those guys a chance to attack, really, which is good because they're kind of mean, from what I recall. Oh, wow, a sideways opening door in Doom. Holy crap, you, like, never see those. Alright, well, that's cool. Uh... What are we about to step into? I think I did just save, but, you know, just to be safe. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm shooting that. Okay. Battle elevator? Or not. It would have been pretty small for a battle elevator. Well. Oh, God, I almost rocketed the door right in front of me. All right. Sure, no problem. Thanks for sending your folks over, LG. Appreciate it. Hope you have a good one. Have a good night. We have spiders at the door. Oh, I think something else might have upset it, actually. But yeah, thanks again. Oh, we just got a bunch of imps instead of... Okay, the question is, though, out of the imps that are upset of us, is there a subset of them that are on the ceiling? Oh, ha. The door the door blocked his attack, too. Alright, so we got a bunch of uh, Hell Knights or something up there. Quite a few of them. Meanwhile, okay, we've got a bunch of imps over here that are not of the ceiling persuasion, fortunately. Alright, but there is... Wait, oh no, I desynchronized the door. <laughs> I probably was still in this side specifically, so that one stayed open. Kind of missing half of my marks here. All right, that helps. Whoops. How am I not hitting this guy? Oh, I am. It's not what I'm thinking it is. I thought it was an imp. It's another helmet. not hitting this guy at all. Yeah, hit him when he stops moving. That's probably a better idea. These might be barons. They seem darker. It might be the lighting, too, though. You know what's funny? That background... Because of, like, the uneven nature of it, it looks like it could be ASCII art or something. Which is a neat effect. You need to do a, do a big Doom thing sometime. There is, I mean, you know, you said it yourself in terms of how much Quake content I've been going through and how I've been doing it over weekends for, like, basically two years at this point. There is even more of it for Doom, so... <laughs> but, uh, yeah, in terms of... In terms of, like, if you want to get into custom stuff, there are definitely a few mappers' names that I can drop for you at some point. And Major Arlene is definitely one of the interesting ones. Uh, that- they're giving me a Megasphere. There's only five enemies left. One of them has to be a Cyber Demon if they're just straight up giving me a Megasphere. It's a- it's a ceiling cyber demon. Oh, wait, what? He teleported. What was that about? Oh no, and now he's- what? 
He teleported, but he also died. All right. I'll take it. Uh, so yeah, that kind of hurt, but we're still in good enough shape. That? I'm pretty sure that's a quake noise. Is this the exit? This is probably the exit, which means I missed five enemies? Nope, I didn't. They're here. Oh, that's great! Yeah, so... Just as we transitioned into Monochrome in the previous map, we transition out of Monochrome right here, and we go right into the next map's aesthetic, which we also saw at the end of the map before the secret map at the normal exit. The secret exit transitioned to Monochrome, but the normal exit looked a little bit like this. So that's super cool. So yeah, we killed everything, we got the secret, and we found the exit. Super cool. I love the little... I love the little transitions between levels. Okay, so... I feel like I've lost track of how many maps I've been through. I want to say... Arlene's map that led into the secret map... Uh, was four. And the secret map, I guess, was nine? If the, if the nine map count included the secret map? So we're over halfway at this point. Um, also, apparently this one was a joint effort. It says Breakpoint Team as the author. So, good job, Breakpoint Team. That was a super interesting map. Now entering Decay of the Human Soul. I think this... I'm really curious what music this uses. Uh, and I just numbered that wrong. So I'm actually gonna take a break here anyway, but I want to listen to this music for a bit. Because this, this was a map that I wanted to think about doing music for, but I ended up with a horrible case of writer's block. This feels like a lower key entryway music. Hey, Bubby. Yeah, this is a, uh, a custom pack by Major Arlene and a bunch of folks using the uh, using Otex textures and the supercharged weapon mod, weapon and monster mod. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm going to take a quick break right now, so we'll come back and we'll check out this map. I'm really interested in this one. I think I've seen a quick playthrough of this back, like, when it was in, like, early testing and polishing phase. Um, I'm probably not going to remember much of it from that, hopefully, anyway, because, like, I want to play it mostly <clears throat> as a first experience, so hopefully we'll still get that out of it. Um... I, I need to alt-tab for one second, just to see. So I'm pretty sure this is a Remorath map. Um, we'll find out for sure when we finish it, once we come back. But I'll leave the, uh, I'll leave the in-game music playing for now. And, uh... That's true, she has, yeah. <laughs> and of course, uh, Bridgeburner's down there too, as well, right? Bridgeburner lives there. Um... But yeah, she seems to like it a lot. I, it's like, I wish I could get down there, but traveling is probably not the best idea right now. Especially this season. Because everyone's doing it. But uh, yeah, let me come back in a couple minutes and we will uh, see what this map has for us then. Alright, we're back. And we're on to map 5. But we're coming from map 9, I believe. So, uh, let's check this out. I believe this is Rimmerath's map. Um, let's see how it goes. I, I think I'm gonna like the aesthetic of this one, too. There really hasn't been a bad map aesthetically in this, in this pack, though, so... Good job to everybody so far. Let's get the timer rolling. Let's see what we've got. Also, did the music actually just go, like, super quiet? I assume it's gonna loop at some point? That's interesting. So the music is still going. Also, that's totally a quake noise. Like the, f the fraying electric cable noise or whatever, it's totally from quake. Well, with that one. Uh, 
Uh, huh. Interesting. So, if I recall correctly, the steam here is actually an interesting detail. Did that hit? That hit another ramp. <laughs> the the gas explosion hit another ramp. That's pretty funny. Power offline. And suddenly the lights turn on. So this I do remember seeing when Major Arlene was testing this map on a stream. Uh, this is super neat. Also, there's stuff in here. More secrets. Uh, power online, also imps online, apparently. Also, geez, nice grenade through the closing door, dude. There's another one. Alright, at least I can stun lock him with this. Oh, it's a fan. I was like, what is that sound? I think both of them tagged me, unfortunately. You don't expect a fan to make that audible of a noise. It's actually slightly disconcerting. So we got... So this is funny. This is almost the exact same kind of staircase style that we had in the secret map, except it was a much bigger, longer staircase. Can I actually, like, jump over here? Yes, I can. Yes, there's a thing here. What did that do? Did that did that do a thing in the center? I need to actually like see what that did. Oh yeah, it, it lowered the mega armor. Okay. Cool, he didn't get to shoot. I'm not going to pick up that Mega Armory yet, because <clears throat> I should not need it yet. That needs a red key, of course. So does that. What's going on in here? We've got a switch. We've got... Oh, okay, there's a grate over this. We've got another super shotgun that doesn't make the entire world angry at us, which is nice. But that does. Oh, that's not good. Oh, jeez. Okay, fortunately those guys are kind of squishy. I did not handle that particularly well, though. That's for darn sure. I'm a little sad, actually, that the music on this on this level is basically inaudible half the time. Like, it's super subdued music. The part that you can hear goes with it reasonably well. Oh, hello. What? Uh... Did I just find a secret? I guess I just found a secret. Uh... There's a lot of barrels down here. I feel like there's actually too much stuff here. No, this is not a secret. We need that. I feel like that justified using the cells. I still have plenty of them. Oh, shit. So much for the, uh... 
supercharged. What about that guy? Though? Oh, hi. Yeah, those guys have uh, serious projectiles. I don't know the last time I saved this. I should probably do that. Okay, so we come back through one of the red doors. Interesting. And what about... Okay, that was just designating the red key. Uh... I'm assuming that would be bad for my health and there would be nothing good about it. Yeah, seems that way. Oh, I see. So this did bar behind me, so I have to go back this way. So let me just double check something really quick. Okay. Alright, so that was that red door. We still have the other mega armor that I haven't bothered picking up. Again, getting it through the closing door. Alright, we got another switch. Oh, that's a lift, okay. Whoops, well, I'm down here again. Well, this is awkward. Also one of you, okay. <clears throat> Alright, what else was shooting at me? Oh, these guys. Uh Okay, I've killed all that stuff already. Should be good now. All right, we got another green armor. Uh, that feels like if this were Quake, that would be climbable, but this isn't Quake. All right, well I guess. Wait, I'm assuming that means it requires the key. Nope, it means it gives us the key. That's a little rude. Grenade dude is helping. Oh, an actual pain elemental. I thought I heard another pain element. Okay. About this. Uh-huh. Sure, I'll take free health. I guess I might as well take the armor, too. Although I do have to go back for the uh, the blue armor that I haven't picked up. <laughs> okay, so now we have the blue key. Do I even know where that gets used? Well, it gets used here. Forget if there was another blue key door.
Okay, so I've been here? Ah, yeah, and that's the other blue key door. Uh... Wait. When did my armor become blue? Because I thought I picked up a green armor. It doesn't just turn blue by picking up bonuses, does it? I thought that always stacked on the type you had before. I don't know if Supercharge changes that or if I just wasn't paying attention and actually picked something else up. Alright, we don't want to go that way. I want to go back this way. Because I was just think I was just looking at it because I figure maybe I should go pick up that blue armor that's down there. But actually, let's maybe go through here first. This might be the exit. So let me go ahead and pick up that armor. See, now now the armor percent is green again. I thought... I thought Doom's armor was always based on the last one you picked up. Oh, hi. Well, that's not very nice. Alright, there's punishment for picking up the secret armor. So I'm assuming this will lead us to the exit. I mean, it, it does actually say that up there, doesn't it? Yep. So, what will the next map give us? Actually, I should probably I should probably hang it up soon. Because it is getting a little bit late. But, well, we've got three maps left. Either way, I'll probably end up finishing this tomorrow night, because I don't expect to get through three maps tonight. Um maps, like, within, I don't know. I would probably want to be streaming less than an hour. Uh, so. The Rotted Post. Alright, this is interesting. <laughs> Alright. I am considered an honorary New Zealand, uh, citizen... Based on, based on one person. Unfortunately, I don't think that'll help if I ever want to get into the country, but... I think I'm gonna need more points. Alright, this music is cool already. Actually, this music vaguely reminded me of something for a sec. Oh, jeez, not another one. There are a lot of grenaders in this one. Interesting. Is this a key door? Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay. And so is that. That's also the exit. I actually saw the sign early this time. And then you got the blue door. This totally reminds me... of something out of the... Hellslinger demo. The Hellslinger demo has, like, a, a forked pathway with a blue door and a red door. And this is doing exactly that. But I guess we're going that way first. Also, how big of a map did we just sign ourselves up for? Alright. Not too gargantuan, probably. Like, so far, Guard Souls map uh, in the third map slot was definitely the biggest map of all of them. Definitely are full-on scrag noises, though. Even if they don't 
quite look like Scrags. I need to stop running into all their bullets. Oh man, I'm almost dead. I don't know if I'm going to be bringing this one back. There's still another one. Alright, well they gave me a little bit of health, but I mean like, I was in... I was in much better shape when I started than that. Well, that'll help. It's not even listed as a secret, it's just right there. Probably gonna wish I took that later. Uh, whoa. What the? That's a weird glitch. Everything disappears, including enemies. And now it's not happening. I have no idea why that just happened. I'm gonna have to mark that one down. I don't even know where you would begin to debug that. There's one other thing I should have marked down that I want to go back and clip. Back in the secret map. It looks like it could be a door, but I guess it's not. So does that. Get out of the way. Alright, well, here's our first key. Given that I did eat a ton of damage at the beginning, I, I kind of do want to put that in a separate slot. Oh, okay. Hi. Not okay. Alright, that works. Found any secrets yet? What's this? That is a secret. Okay. That also makes up for some of the horrible damage I took before. Now we just need to find some armor. is what we just got. Wait, who else is still out here? Oh, wow. Did all the... <laughs> did all the lost souls just immediately die because they fell in the, uh... in the goop? Alright, there actually is some armor right there, so that's not bad. Oh, that's convenient. Oh, that's less convenient. Hi. Where did that caco go? Is. <laughs> I got him to park right up there. That's hilarious. Uh, yep, there's still more cacos. I 
think I got them all? Oh, I'm assuming that was a Mancubus I just heard somewhere. Oh, it's one of the flying ones, okay. And he's dead. I like the delayed reaction, though. That was pretty funny. Because it hit, like, the incline over there. Uh, there's another one. Somewhere. Alright, so there's clearly a megasphere down there. Whoa, there's a bunch of stuff. Alright. So I could just fall down over here. Very good example of, uh, of making rocks and stuff. Which is a, a strategy you'll hear mappers talk about sometimes. Alright, well I guess it's time to go down here? Oh, that is considered a secret, okay. That's what you get for just, you know, sticking to it up there. Can I get back up this way? Possibly not. Uh, so I guess we're just making a, a running jump for it. I shouldn't even pick those up because, like, I can't benefit from them. Oh, shit. I guess I'll just go this way then. You're dead. I'm assuming that those steps were actually what I was supposed to come down. So, like, going up is probably the way back. Yeah, I had a film there'd be two. Is that gonna get him uh, ticked off with the other guy, maybe? Whoa, now he's gonna get him dead. Nice. I would prefer if you would stop doing that. Thanks. Alright, he's dead. He was helping, though, actually. Is this leading me? Ah, to the next key. Wait, which key is the exit key? So I kind of thought it was this one, but I only have one key. Is it going to lead us on some interesting chase where we end up coming out through the blue door or something, or am I misremembering? Because I thought the red door was the exit door. Wow, completely whiffed. Okay, I'm assuming there's going to be more opposition where that came from. Oh, that is a very fast lift. Uh, oh, hi. Okay, before we go back up, though... I want to see if I can go up here. I can. Uh, sort of, yeah. I don't know if there's any reason to do that. I 
but down there is where I was before. There is some cell ammo there, but I don't need it. Alright, then up we go. I heard that. Oh, was that just this going down again? That was just that going down again. <laughs> I thought there was a secret. No, it's just that. Um, have I been down here? Probably not, but I don't need any of that. Oh, actually, I need the shells. Hang on. Let's pick those up. Okay, just one of them. Go down for the shells again. Alright, so we just got the red key, which is the door that says exit on it. Well, now I'm confused, because I, I had assumed that there were three keys, but that's the blue door, and it's already open. I'm getting a sense of deja vu here. This is where I came out. Okay, so pff, the thing I said before might have already happened. I have no idea when they get new add-ons. I'm always I'm always surprised when they come out. Of course, I was really hoping it would do something for the twenty fifth uh, twenty fifth anniversary of Quake Two, which was actually uh, about t ten days ago, eleven days ago, I think. Uh, but it seems like they didn't really do anything for it. Oh, this is the end of the level, I guess. There you go. So that was a Velvetic level. That was really cool. I, I like everything about that. The music fit it really well, too, I feel like. Okay. Um, and that took us about 15 minutes. We're actually at the hour now, so... Uh, I've been going for... About three and a half hours in terms of stream time. Seems like uh, probably a good place to, to wrap it for the night. That leaves us with what? Two maps left, I think? Sinking feeling. We did just fall down a hole. So... The funny thing is, back when I, I mentioned that once a long time ago, I, I tried working on Doom maps. I actually did have a map that ended with a fall down a long shaft. Of course, it was back in the days before UDMF, so it didn't end in the middle of the shaft. It ended when you walked forward after it. Um, like, I, I had, like, a, a level... One of the levels I created was, like, just basically going through a bunch of, like, duct work, and it ended with that. Um, so it's kind of funny to see this drop me off in, in a similar regard. It's also kind of funny that this music is vaguely reminding me of one of the musical ideas I had that, did, that I didn't get anywhere with. So, uh, we'll have to enjoy this map. Uh, hopefully tomorrow night I'll be able to get back to this. We only have two maps to go, so hopefully I can at least fit in a short stream to wrap this up. Um... But yeah, I don't know what kind of... I don't know if there's any kind of regular regularity in terms of schedule. In terms of uh, them adding maps uh, to the official re-releases. Or whether it's just a matter... Like, I don't know how much work goes into, like, you know... Reaching out to authors and getting rights or contracts or whatever is required. For that matter. So, I don't know how much of it is, like paced out versus how much of it is like they try to put things in motion and it gets there when it gets there or what um but anyway um this has been really really cool so far really enjoying it uh i'm hoping to be able to carve out some time tomorrow night to finish this off uh if i do it'll probably be closer to like 9 30 eastern u.s time uh, when I started, I started a little early tonight because I wanted to get a jump on it because I wasn't sure how long it would take me and I wanted to, uh, I wanted to maximize my chances of being able to get it done in the two days, uh, which I think is, uh, well within reach. So, we did what we, uh, needed to do in terms of, uh, getting a good start on this tonight. Again, shoutouts to everybody...
involved, which I'm going to go alt-tab to make sure I don't forget anybody. We had Major Arlene, of course, who organized it and did a few maps for it. We had Jazzmaster9, who we saw on map 2, Guard Soul, who we saw on map 3, Remarath, who we saw in map, uh, 5? 5. 5? And then Velvetic, who we saw on map 6. Yeah, that sounds right, because we're on map 7 now, right? Uh, I think I got all that right. Hopefully I didn't mess up any uh, attribution there. And also shout out to all the musicians, including uh, Prime, apparently. So that's super cool. So, uh, yeah. Hope you all enjoyed it. Thanks for hanging out and sticking around. And uh, hope to see some of you tomorrow when I will try to wrap this up. I'm hoping I can uh, do that tomorrow night. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Breakpoint Part 2. We got through, uh, I think, seven maps last night. So I think we... We hit the secret map, I, I managed to successfully find the secret exit, which was pretty neat, the way that that was pulled off, and the secret map was uh, super interesting as well, and really all the maps have been interesting in their own ways, everyone's done really good work on this, and I believe we have two maps left, because I believe it was nine total, I'm assuming that includes the secret map. Uh, we are entering map seven now, which is called That Sinking Feeling. Kind of, kind of like how people felt when Elon literally brought a sink with him into the Twitter HQ office when he uh, took over the damn place. But anyway, um, so uh, one thing I will say right off the bat is this music is pretty killer. <laughs> like this is a super interesting MIDI. There's tons of layers to it, tons of stuff that's recurring and comes back. Uh, there's a freaking section that like feels like it's like all sorts of off rhythm, but it's actually still like. It's, it's still 16, 16 over 16. It's just like 3-4 and then 4-4 four, four to complete the, the set or something like that. So lots of super interesting stuff going on in this music track. I still need to find out, like, obviously we know that Prime worked on at least one of the minis in this, but I, I need to know who did the other minis because, like, there's some really good stuff in here. Um, but yeah, let's continue with this and take a look at what we've got in this map. We don't know who done it yet. We'll find out at the end of the level. Um... Well, let me get the timer going again. Wait, hang on a second. I don't know why, but my timer would have uh, would have got going at zero again if I didn't fix that. All right, we're good. So let's see what we've got here. Oh, I can actually climb that thing. Okay. Whoa, there was a little bit of a lag spike there when I opened this door. I always feel like these quick-closing doors are super rude. It's like, you never want a door to close that quickly. Alright, so we got... They immediately give you... Was that the super shotgun, I think? And then also... The machine guns. They waste no time giving you... Getting you caught up on weapons if you were to pistol start this. Oh, I can open that. Okay. I didn't even check whether this requires a key. It might require a key. I just figured, let's not push the big button in the middle of the room. <laughs> hey, Prime. Prime here in the house to uh, enjoy the... Okay, so it does require the key To enjoy this awesome MIDI track with us. This MIDI track is possibly the coolest one yet. Look at, look at this going on here. I feel like I might have seen Arlene tweet out pictures of this map, too. Alright, at least they were all nice enough to all teleport in at one place. Alright, uh... Okay. It's kind of weird not having the system offline slash online at eye level, like... <laughs> I feel like I made a funny comment in the first level about how the server room was only made for tall people because the switch was at eye level. But like now the keyboard is at eye level and you gotta go ah to actually look at the screen. Uh, I should probably save because I haven't saved in this level yet. Oh, um, hi. Alright, I guess this is the sinking- oh, it's the sinking feeling followed by the rising feeling, apparently. I missed, I missed on that one.
Alright, so see, this one is at a good level. Actually, you could even raise it up a tiny bit from here. Having, having it up top is like you could almost miss it. You gotta look out for it. Oh, that's not very nice. Pain in the arch calling. Uh oh. Oh, not good. Not good. Should not have switched to this weapon. Yeah, I, I guess I shouldn't have been married to the fact that I had a, uh, a supercharge overheal. Was that a perfectly cut Hell Knight scream? I feel like he, he was halfway through his scream when he warped in. Also, we got one secret in this map. I don't want to pick up that armor, but I might not be able to avoid picking up that armor. Oh, I can avoid picking up that armor. Okay. Because I kind of don't need it. Alright, so was there really- was that really the only door I could have gone in at that point? It felt like there could have been more options in here. But I guess more will happen when I hit that switch. There's definitely more stuff on the opposite side- oh, hello. I didn't realize I neglected that guy. Alright, so we, we went full circle around this area, I guess, pretty much. What? Another one? Okay. It's funny, the shape of this area reminds me a little bit of, uh... I mean, if you ignore the middle part, it kind of feels a little E1M3-ish. This is just, this is the way I came down before, right? So you can actually come back up this way, too. Okay. Oh, wait, what the? Oh. That's a window with stuff in it. Alright, well, I guess it's time to uh, hit the yellow key switch. Well, that went down very quickly. And now we're going down less quickly. It's very loud. I feel like he's mad at somebody else, but oh well. Oh, what do we got in here? Oh dear. Not dead yet. Look at this pile of TVs over here. We got some like I don't know, is is that persona shit or is it something else that does the pile of TVs thing? I feel like several things have done the pile of TVs thing. What was that noise? 
Oh, it's just it's just muck that I'm walking in, I guess. Yeah, I didn't even notice the muck. Oh, it's 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 actually painful muck. I didn't realize that either. Okay, we got another key card up there. We got more muck too. Uh, can I get across this? Nope. Wait, can I climb up somewhere? Not. Oh, behind here. I'm uh, again. I'm trying to not pick up the armor yet, but. All right, we got a switch there that we might be able to hit. And we got more stuff over here. All right, I guess we're going for the switch. Oh, no, we're going for the... I thought the switch might lower the key, but no, the switch requires the key. And I actually... Oh, that was one of the windows that I was looking through before, too. Okay. Oh, that's a... Well, that might be the secret. In which case, let's grab this first. That is indeed the secret. You cannot just ask nicely for this to come down. That was, that was the other thing I was wondering. Oh, there's a switch up there. I didn't even notice. Oh, come on. I'm trying to not take unnecessary damage now that I just picked up a supercharge. That is a very... I feel like that's an easy-to-miss switch, because it's, like, way on the edge here, and there's, like... I mean, you can't even go over there. What is that, actually? Okay, so that lowers that. Well, I'm in the goop again. Perhaps I should have used the uh, machine gun. Probably would have been smarter. Alright, now I'll pick this up. Now I guess I'll hit this thing. I see. Had that- I guess that had gone up again when I had, like, gone in there. Right, because it closed behind me. Oh, well, what's this? Okay. Oh, alright, that's a way to get back up here if I want to. Alright. Uh, what else required the blue key, though? Oh, I guess this- I guess- no? That's just right where I was. Uh, what am I doing next, though? Was I not supposed to come back? And there's We need a red key eventually, because there's apparently a door on this side. I don't even know where it is yet, but it's shown on the map. Uh, and then there's presumably going to be another teleporter to get back to this area. So maybe I actually do need to do something else in here. So I hit that, right? No, I didn't hit that. That's another one. I thought that was the switch I hit already. Because isn't this where the other switch was? But I guess it's like more inset than the other one? That's, that's kind of messes with your head. I feel like something to like... Distinguish that so you don't just think it was where you already were might be a good idea. Things seem to be uh, upset at me out here. Oh yeah, there's the red door, so this did indeed go down now. There we go. Alright, so the problem is I can't really see what the heck is all going on down there, but they seem to be having fun without me, so I'll just leave them to it, I guess. 
Uh, did I leave any other ammo for this in here? Oh, hi. Where did you come from? Ow. Thought I could weave that, I could not. I'm out of rockets, that's not good. Well, better to use them in an open space like that than the alternative. I really underused the scrap gun. Alright, I don't have the key for this yet, though, so... Gotta figure out something. Uh, wait, that's a new door too, ain't it? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, I mean, it does kind of feel like a sort of mini flat cannon kind of thing. I mean, it's it's pretty cool. I feel like I just don't entirely understand its damage output yet. Oh, rockets, that's good. Hey, Major Arlene, welcome. The the, the one thing that I uh, got a little confused by in this map was the... Uh, there was the blue key switch, followed by another blue key switch, which I had thought was the same blue key switch, but was not. So I was like, I've been here already, right? And then I just absent-mindedly walked up to it and pressed space and more shit happened. I was like, oh, all right. Oh, what the heck's going on in this room? That's pretty interesting. I don't know the last time I saved. I guess that's our skybox. Wasn't sure how to reconfigure it. And I don't know, even something just like, something to like added trim around the bottom and top of the second switch maybe, I don't know. Something to make the second switch distinct from the first switch. Can I shoot these guys from here? Nope. Wait. Oh, I can shoot those guys. Are there more on this side? No. I'm gonna leave that guy be for now. Oh, hi. Uses the scrap hits flesh sound from Unreal used by the shrapnel for the flat cannon. Oh, for the pickup. Yeah, I mean they use they use ammo pickup sounds from everywhere. <laughs> oh, uh, I guess I'm down here now. Oh, oh, and you're up there. That's not nice. All right, get rid of that guy. Uh, I guess I'm going in here. All right, that just goes back. Oh, because I should be in here now apparently. cells, huh? And another plasma rifle. I already have full ammo for that, actually, so I should be using more of that. Oh, one of you guys, too. Okay. Oh, alright. Well, you're gonna make him angry. Alright. Oh, you're reviving people. Could you not do that? Oh, I almost fell off. Uh, I think he's dead? I think he's dead. <laughs> there's just... There's just caco spaghetti everywhere, so I can't really tell. What are, the, what are the rocket ammo pickup sounds from? So I feel like that sounds familiar too. Is that... Could that be an Unreal sound effect? Is that... Like, what... You know how you have the multi-rocket launcher on Unreal and, like, another rocket seats in the chamber with the alt fire? Is, is it that sound? Oh, it's Doom 3? Alright. 
Uh, I guess we're going back? Oh, I guess I could kill that guy, maybe. I was thinking, so like, the, the some of the plasma gun related sounds and cell sounds are, are Doom 3 also, right? Unreal's rocket launcher is old fires. What the hell am I thinking of that had like the triple rocket launcher? Was that Unreal Tournament specifically or something? But yeah, it was probably a completely different sound effect. Uh, oh, I'm not, I guess I'm not doing this yet, hang on. Wait, so what did I just do? I hit a switch. Go back up this way, I guess? do I get over there? The firing sound is possibly quake. Oh yeah, the firing sound I, I figured might be something else. Yeah, and that sounds like it could be right. So I hit that. And then a lot of things attacked me, so I didn't really keep track of what it actually did. I already got the only secret, so I know there's nothing to really bounce around here for it. So the key is up there. Oh, there's another freaking switch right there. Totally didn't see it. Hey, Imp, you've got a caco on your head. Alright, that was convenient that that, uh, hit the wall and not me. Yeah, it is pleasant, I will say that. Yeah, I see that guy back there. Alright, he's helping. Wait, what? You're not helping. What are you doing? When did you- Oh, that's insta-kill. Alright, hadn't found that out yet. Fortunately, I didn't... I didn't miss much. I'm worried of making the same mistake again. I feel like... I feel like other things like this just warped you and didn't insta-kill you. So I was very surprised that that was insta-kill. Alright, I think that guy's dead. Oh, got another one over here. I backed right into that. I'm glad there's a teleporter there. The, the vertical aiming is, is not doing me any favors. <laughs> like, it keeps aiming for the thing I don't want to shoot first. That's how an imp ended up with a cacodemon on its head before. Yeah, I thought this was one of your maps, because I thought I remembered seeing screenshots of this on Twitter. Alright, so that... Oh, hi. Oh, okay, one of these guys. Fortunately, they die relatively quick. Like, they're like Hell Knight level health or something. That makes them a little less scary. Alright, uh... So yeah, I guess we'll go back out, and now we can open this door. Uh, okay. Oh, that's a lot of stuff happening. Ow! Grenade dude? Oh man, I'm running into everything. Alright, well that, that would explain the you were particularly mean this map comment. I, I just backed into something, yep. Uh, apparently the cyber demon got me that time. Alright, it's, it's, 
Oh, oh. I don't have to open the door to trigger this. Okay. I keep I keep backing into stuff though. All right, so let's not open the door. That is that is not the play. How many rockets do I have? I like how it drops rockets out of the sky too. You can't stay still. The problem is you're always going to end up running in line against an Arachnatron's line of fire. The other, the other problem is, like, this room is a little bit on the dark side, so it's also hard to see what I'm running from and into. But also, I'm usually not looking where I'm running. <laughs> Which is my own damn fault. Alright, we might be getting somewhere this time. I have no rockets again. Oh, there's another one. Stop screwing those guys. Okay, so yeah, obviously that was that was set up to completely catch you off guard the first time because you would just go and open the door and not realize that the stuff even dropped and everything started coming out at you until after you opened it and then you just made your situation worse. Oh, there is there is another wave of dudes though. So that doesn't even help. What would help is if I weren't out of rockets. But let's use some cells since I have that. Okay, that works. Also, there were—I thought I saw a mega sphere because one thing I was thinking it was like. You gotta have some kind of health resources at some point in this fight. And sure enough, there it was. But that's okay, saving that for the end is probably uh, a good idea. Then I can actually be... I, I tend to end up hoarding things for the next level. So, uh... That's what I ended up doing with that. But yeah, that was definitely, uh... One of the roughest battles yet. Okay, we also got some rockets. Um, this is what I just opened, I'm presuming. Okay, so we already got the secret. And this is... Didn't get a word of that. So that was Sinking Feeling by Major Arlene. Another Doom 3... Oh, really? Okay. Now entering the Sinful Gate. But not the Sinkful Gate. I think that one just said, so you made it this far. Hey, how nice of them. Everything's already dead. Alright, guess we're done here. Oh. Five monsters. I don't believe you. Also, what the heck is this map telling me? Alright, well, let's... Make another save. Uh, we don't have any secrets. Witness to what will be unleashed on Earth. 
the one thing I'm thinking is, like, I don't know if you can control the volume of this thing, but, like, this was totally drowning out the voice lines. <laughs> Alright, giving us all the weapons in case we didn't have them. At least all of the three and four weapons, I guess. Giving us some regular armor, how nice. Somehow I don't think it's going to be just five enemies. Oh, what the heck are you? Have I seen this before? I feel like I've seen somebody play a game, uh, play a mod or a, uh, a pack with this. And it was a very unreasonable pack. Oh, is he dead? Okay. They certainly did a lot of work on the, uh, the environment here. This isn't the ZDM community project thing? Hmm. I still think this is a suspiciously large room. I'm not taking that because, one, I don't need it, and two, I might get punished for taking it. More, uh, Quake 1 slash Quake 2 sounds? I'm not sure about the, uh, the dial tone kind of thing, but the, the slipgate noise is definitely there. Ow. Yeah, see, this one's in closer quarters, so... having a harder time dodging things. Alright, that one was seemingly backing himself into a corner a bunch of times. Uh, perhaps I should go take this now. Alright, I didn't get punished for taking it. You don't think... You don't think the roaring hum? To me, that sounds like Slipgate. It might just be that it's coming through really quiet on the stream. Alright, so that was actually, uh, symmetrical. Oh, yeah, I wasn't even using the plasma gun, which now they're saying, hey, you should use the plasma gun. Alright, I suppose I should save. Now the big question is, what did that do? Was this sound always happening here? Oh, alright, another one of these guys. Or it might be more than one this time. Yeah, it is more than one, isn't it? Oh, I got stuck in the column. I think sometimes I try to reload this while it's in, like, the kickback animation, and it doesn't actually reload. So that's four out of five, right? Yeah. Now the question is, what are they saving for last? What on earth is going on over here? Uh, I see. You got the whole, like... Oh, what, what was the part of uh, Quake 2 that had the, the two concentric rings or whatever? Alright, time for the big one. Oh, it just, like, froze my camera. Cutscene time. Hey, isn't this guy from Killer Instinct? 
Oh, he's got a life bar. Wait, he's got two life bars? You So, what? The boss has a life bar, and then the gate has a life bar? Can I actually shoot the gate? Oh, don't, don't step in the lava, probably. Oh, that's a BFG noise. Probably... Whoa, jeez, ow. Um... I have no idea what the hell I'm getting hit by. It's everything everywhere. Um... Also... That... From upwards... That was... That was... That felt like a very, like... Uh... Supercharged Tome of Power Heretic Weapon 5 thing going on. Alright, so, uh, he has a very big life bar. Suddenly we just got, like, Dark Souls or something, because, like... Yeah, I just take all the damage immediately. I guess I should probably just go for, like, alright, use the plasma. And then see where I have to go from there. I'm mostly wondering why the gate has a life bar, though. Oh, is the gate actually what's shooting all the crazy crap at me? The other thing is, like, we don't get any ammo or anything, do we? Uh, what was that noise? Also, why is the gate taking damage? Because I didn't do anything to it. At least I didn't think I did. Oh, um... Yeah, so I don't know how to avoid that. That was a Quake 3 BFG noise. You have, like, no time to react to that, and it's all over the place. Is it reviving these guys, or is it actually spawning new ones? Because that one was, like, in the same spot. Just keep moving. Oh, 
Oh, he's down. I should probably save. Now I just need to deal with the gate. Oh, that actually does hurt it. I almost just walked right into that. Uh, honestly, the flak for the uh, scrap was doing better. Scrap seems to be doing a good job on this. I have to imagine this would be another spot where people with weak graphics cards would not do too well. Oh no. We got boner dudes. All the enemies keep, like, blocking the shots. I'm, I'm aiming up there, but that's not where it's going. Oh, I'm out of ammo for that. Can't do that anymore. Oh, it's dead. Alright, we got it. So I, I imagine... At first I wasn't sure if shooting at the gate up there was doing anything. Oh, and that just kills everything. Alright. Cool. <laughs> I guess that's a question I should ask, is like, is there a preferred auto-aim setting for this pack? Because I basically didn't mess with the, uh, the defaults, I guess, or I didn't mess with my options from whatever they were set at before. But, yeah, I would probably want to try playing this with auto-aim off in the future. Also, hey, Wasco. Sorry, I'm seeing the message a little late, because a lot of stuff was shooting at me. Uh, that's interesting. That looks like a teleporter, but isn't doing anything. Uh, oh, they all look like that, I guess. So what do we do now that we're done? Is there something at the back? Yeah, I didn't even... Re oh, I, we're supposed to do this now, I guess. Which I saw this before. It didn't go this far up before, but I guess that's our ending. Yep, there you go. That was another Guard Soul map. All right. <laughs> I, I, I was wondering, is like, I shouldn't be surprised if this is Guard Soul, right? Uh, but there you go. Uh, I'm definitely glad I didn't play this on Ultraviolence the first time. <laughs> The only thing, and I don't know if maybe it would have escalated to this, the only thing that was missing out of that, or maybe there was one and I didn't notice, but I don't think I saw a cyber demon in there. Um, but, yeah, damn. <laughs> this is, I feel like this is the, well, so, there was one spot, I think in the secret map, that had, like, a big circular room with a bunch of stuff going on, too. But, uh, so that that gets honorable mention as well, but other than that, I feel like this is this is the biggest like I can't believe it's not bridge burner arena type stuff. But then I also am not familiar enough with how many other Doom mappers make arena things. So now entering end of all. Wait, are we are we not actually done? Or okay, this is this is text. As the Abaddon fell and the sinful gate imploded, a strange calm washed over the galaxy. The hell's I feel like we're talking about Twitter dying, but anyway. The hellspawn that had taken over the galaxy finally stopped their angry roars. The only sound audible was now their bodies hitting the floor. Wait, what? Why did the text just blink? That was weird. While it would be messy, the humans could now return to their normal lives. But could a hell portal really be closed so easily by a mortal? Well... Is that, is that where we end? with well is there does this mean there has to be a uh, a breakpoint too interest interesting end screen 
the yellow makes it a little harder to read, but as long as it's like just mild interruptions of of, uh, of color, it's not too bad. And the other colors aren't as are as, well actually. Yeah, no, even the blue it's because it was darker wasn't as bad to as a backdrop. Um, but yeah, that's breakpoint. <laughs> hey, Tenmachi. So, uh... You're not great at writing this ending, but did but did a thing. We will likely not call it Breakpoint, but you're thinking another UDM ep episode once you get settled in New Zealand. Yeah, I, I've, I know you've been talking about, like, packing stuff up and preparing to move. That's gotta be a huge deal. Jeez. Would it be another base map thing, or would you go for a whole other aesthetic that is also not marble? But yeah, this is this is super neat. Um, actually, my uh, <laughs> so I've I've talked about my dad every so often. He's he has played the Supplies demo. Uh, he has played uh, you know Doom 64, various FPSs. I mean, like he's the one who installed Doom and Doom 2 and Heretic and Hexen on our PC in the 90s and whatnot. Uh, he he's he saw a little bit of this and he he was really impressed. He thought it was like the most detailed stuff that he's ever seen, uh, in terms of stuff that I've played, at least on the Doom end of things, so. The idea is Neon Brown? Neon Brown. I feel like there's a, well, <laughs> I want to say I feel like there's a shitpost here on Neon White, uh, I, I, not, not necessarily intending the pun, but, uh, but yeah, super cool stuff in here. Um, and I mean, like, again, I have not played a whole ton of, like, super modern Doom stuff. Like, Ev Eternity is probably the other most recent thing I played, and that was probably a few years ago now. I played it when it was in Release Canada. Um, with the, with the uh, was it the Red Key Door Bug in Map 31 and all? Um, so this, this is me kind of like... <laughs> just, like, walking into the deep end in terms of, like, what people do with that. Well, I guess, okay, I also did play a few maps from Elementalism, which I need to play more of that at some point when I get to more Doom stuff as well. So I guess that's the other, like, modern kind of stuff that I've played, but, uh, I feel like this is much more consistently pushing the envelope than, than the other stuff that I've played. Not to, not to belittle any of that, because all of them are good. But yeah, thanks for hanging out while I was playing it. Um, I, I honestly do want to play more. Um, I might try it on Ultraviolence, I might regret it, I might... I'm thinking Ultraviolence or Pistol Starts, probably not both, because I don't do Pistol Starts, but I'm curious how the maps were balanced around it. But I would probably have a rough time towards the end. I'm actually really curious, though, how that last map balances out with that. Nightmare isn't even on the list, dude. I'm not doing Nightmare. <laughs> Um, I'm actually curious, so can I actually just, uh, I can do that. That is the wrong level. So 09 is actually the secret map. Oh wait, is this. Nobody likes respawning enemies, you would think. But hey, Nive Rive. I want to see just how much ammo they get. So they do give you a backpack straight up. Uh, they do also give you the uh, the scrap gun immediately, but how much ammo do I have to work with? I mostly have shells to work with. So that's what they primarily intend for you to, uh, to face this guy with. You also have a decent amount of bullets, I guess. And that's why they give you this armor too. And there are no secrets in this. And then they give you the supercharge right away. The way he keeps going back and forward and his sound effect and everything makes me feel like he's trying to vacuum the room. Well, I've used half my ammo. I'm trying to use my ammo sparingly here. Ow. I reversed course at the exact wrong time. Alright, so the first question... All right, Prime. Thanks for hanging out again. One more day of work tomorrow. I got the full week, so although I think the the 
I think other folks where I work are going to start becoming scarce. Uh, I think the project manager is going to be out starting, or product manager is going to be out starting tomorrow. Um, got actually on the bright side, I actually got a fair bit of stuff done in the first half of the week. So, well, half the first three days of the week. So, like, basically, the stuff I needed to get done this week is done. We just need to actually like pull the trigger and launch it when we're ready. So, I am worried about my ammo here. Oh, they do give you, uh, the rockets right here. Okay. I have no ammo left of that. I kind of don't want to use the rocket launcher here. I'm just going to get hit in the face with absolutely everything, though. Okay, he's dead. I'm also almost dead, but, uh, I forget... No, you do not get more health here. You get more health after all five of the dudes. So I would be in extremely bad shape here, because now you have to fight the other two before you fight the uh, the final boss. Um, but after that, they give you the the mega uh, mega sphere. I feel like this is begging for a secret, and I don't know. I mean, I guess it would be too obvious, but. You're always looking for wads you could use with Brutal Doom, always had fun with that. I've never been into Brutal Doom, I did try Complex Doom once in the past. Uh, this is using Supercharge, which does seem super interesting. I am, I'm not gonna try pushing my luck, I know I'm gonna die immediately. <laughs> so the, the resources are at least a little bit tight at the beginning, at least in terms of health. It's like, if you make serious mistakes, you're probably gonna have to start over in this map. Um... But uh, we we can try a few other pistol start maps. I'm 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 very curious about map three pistol start. That map is also huge. It's also the other guard soul map. Uh, that could take all all night if I do that. Uh, but I'll probably try map two with it first actually, because I'm very curious. Because like the 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 worst part of map two, and actually so one thing to talk about is like the biggest difficulty spikes in this were map two and map three. Map two the difficulty spike isn't when you like pick up any keys or anything, the difficulty spike in map 2 is when you haplessly happen to stumble over the super shotgun. And then everybody and their mother and their pet monkey gets mad at you. All at once. Um, so I'm curious how that's going to go on pistol start. Um, map 3 is a difficulty spike just because it's just one huge wide open area and everything has line of sight from infinity and you are getting sniped from all angles at all times, and you kind of have to ignore it sometimes. Um, even at the end of that map, there were still a couple guys left that I was just like, where are they even at? <laughs> they were just, like, picking at me the entire time. Um, but yeah, let me take a break, and we can mess around with some stuff when I get back. Um, let me load up another map with... Uh... Why am I doing things that way? I can just do it with the, the old commands. Uh, what other, what other maps had cool music? I mean, a lot of them did. Yeah, I like this one too. Alright, I'll leave it with that, and we'll come back in a few minutes. Alright, we're back. Uh, one thing I should do, actually, is there's supposed to be an option, it's probably in here, actually, about, like, always pistol starting or something, which might just make things slightly easier. Oh yeah, there it is. It says GZ Doom only. What other what other ports does uh, Supercharge work with? I didn't even think about that. I kind of just assumed it was typically a GZ Doom thing anyway. Alright, so. Let's go back to map 2 and try this pistol start. So I'm still on Hurt Me Plenty. I haven't changed the... Uh, I believe I'm still on Hurt Me Plenty. I don't think I messed with the difficulty. <laughs> That's right. So this this was definitely the weakest lit map. <laughs> like, I get that I get that it's going for mood, but like, 
when it gets to the point where, like, you can't see pickups that are important, like the shotgun that, like, the super shotgun that makes everybody mad at you, and these guys, like, when it gets in the way of visibility, I am not a fan of underlift. At least they have the, the lit helmets. Uh, I am out of... wait. I'm out of bullets. a bunch of imps on boxes and stuff, too. Yeah, like that one that I can't see at all. Yeah, there was one up here. I'm trying to be careful with my ammo here since, uh... necessarily have a ton of it. Alright, here's a little bit more. Oh, shit. I forgot that dude was in here. I just walked into everything. Oh, I got hit-scanned to death. Alright. I should probably clean up some of my save files. Oh, these are the two guys that the imps got mad at last time, and they t they dealt with them for me. Not sure what I want to do about this Magibus. Oh, there's more of you than I thought. Uh, okay. He's sort of helping. Worried about my ammo again. I almost fell off. Yeah, we should probably, uh, take this right about now. I kind of feel like I have to skip this guy, because I don't have enough ammo to deal with it. Oh, jeez, there's a lot of dudes up there. And there's a chain gunner over there. This is where everything will get mad at me. And I'm almost dead again. So yeah, uh... How do I feel about my ammo? Certainly don't feel good about my health. Oh, here we go. Oh, don't reload now. Couldn't react in time. There's, uh... There's enough hit scanners in there for that to be a problem.
the other chain gunner. There he is. That chain gunner was the thing that absolutely did me in the first time I played this. There's one on top of here, isn't there? Wrong, there was like three on top of there. Alright, well I did much better that time. That didn't work. Oh, where'd you come from? I never killed this guy. Oh, jeez, I whiffed and missed that. Oh my god. Dude's faking me out. Gotta stop wasting ammo. This is the part where you can come back up. But yeah, I actually have to go down to the other section now. This is also a part of the map that's like... Kind of, kind of literally a, a gap in conveyance, because it's like, everywhere else you don't want to fall down, but here you have to fall down. Actually, that didn't hurt me nearly as much as I thought it would. I'm used to I'm used to lava being absolutely deadly in Quake. And like when I see this, that's what I assume it's like, but it's actually not as bad. It actually made the same sound that uh, you hear in Heretic with some of the uh, like the magma floor or whatever. Oh yeah, I was gonna turn off auto aim, wasn't I? Where the heck is that? Mouse options, maybe? No. Uh. You know what? Let's search for it. Uh, auto aim. It's a number? What does smart auto aim mean? Okay, allow auto aim. If I just turn that off, does that does that do it? Oh, you know what? I should also turn on the cross here. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I think... Isn't there a whole range of options around the uh, crosshair as well? Maybe not. Maybe I'm imagining things. Oh, no, there is. Yeah, because I thought you could, like, select from different reticles and stuff, and I usually just do the dot. worried about ammo. And I suppose... I suppose maybe you're not intended to be able to kill absolutely everything right away when you balance things for pistol start. I can get those guys ammo. Also, I don't remember if I found every secret in this the first time. Uh, one of them was right over here, though. Alright, now what did that switch I hit do? if I should still be down there. I should probably still be down there. I actually have a fair share of bullets now. I probably could take out that dude. I think I probably made the same mistake last time. of what to do after I hit that switch. 
You'd think I'd remember, I just played this last night. So I hit that. Oh right, it opens that, duh. But, wait. Okay, right, and I haven't been here. And I can get these guys ammo, and that's the game. up that ammo, All right? And this is where you get locked in. Eventually, anyway. Oh, there's way too many of you. I gotta wait for the reload to be done before I, uh, duck out of cover and shoot. Oh, there's two of them! <laughs> they were right next to each other, right behind each other. There's two Hell Knights in a, in a trench coat. I forgot how many enemies that part spawned. Alright, yeah, so that's what closes the four... But then there's a lift somewhere, right? Well, no, there's the blue door, and then I think there's the lift in there. Anything else I can pick up out here? I mean, obviously there's the armor. I don't want to take that until I desperately need it. Not the dude I expected that to kill, but okay. Oh, right, and then this you can cross to get something as well. Not like that. At least I think it was that? Yeah, there you go. You might have to strafe on it. All right, yeah, that's that's welcome right now. Yeah, so that switch lowered those, I think. Oh, there was a rocket launcher right there, and I totally didn't pick it up. Good job, me.
the exit. Let me go pick up that other armor. Mm. Although it doesn't really matter because if I'm if I'm gonna be pistol starting things anyway, then I guess I might as well just leave. I did kill everything. This actually does have a decent chunk of enemies in it. Didn't realize this had that many. It is crazy how much custom work went into this because you got like all the cameras on the end screens, you got like the, you know, the custom font everywhere. Alright, so, uh, this, this might be the ultimate test of the night. Uh, oh right, I forgot, pistol start means that we automatically, I don't have to even reselect the level. Debating how many of these guys to bother shooting. I have one bullet, so yeah, I guess <laughs> guess this is where we're at. And now I make a run for it. There was another shotgunner there. You know what? I want that ammo. Oh, I was like, I'm getting hit way too much. What is getting? Hit? What am I getting hit by? Oh, that yeah, must be a chain gunner. Whoops, that was not good. Ran, totally tripped over a snot ball. guy who killed me last time. There he is. Out of ammo, but fortunately there's more right there. So I guess we, we survived the initial onslaught. Not going there yet. Oh, hi. Ow. Too many hit skinners around every corner. What did I just fall and back up? <laughs> All you see is pixels. Okay, where did I kill the uh Don't stay out there, I got a hot butt. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't... This level seems pretty unreasonable this to the start. I mean, to be fair, this level seemed pretty unreasonable the first time. And again, this has hurt me plenty, so this isn't even the hardest difficulty. I thought I had gotten in front of that, but I had not. Oh, so those guys come out of there eventually. There were two of you. I have six health. This is not going to go well. Yeah, they actually open up behind you. And I had to reload at that point, obviously. So yeah, I'm probably not going to finish this map, but this is, uh... Gives you an idea of how much of a force of a different color it is, uh... I feel like I just mixed idioms there. Oh yeah, don't forget there's, uh, arachnotrons across the entire map, too. And they will snipe at you all the time. Whoops. Taking that many shots to get him halfway down. Oh, that sucked. Well, at least there's health here. And at least they don't make a bunch of other things angry at you for picking up the rocket launcher. They probably will for hitting the switch then. Oh, this is when the, the center opens up, isn't it? Alright, well at least they had enough rockets to initially take care of those guys. Oh jeez, don't do that. Oh, I just picked up the- I was like, what happened to my gun? <laughs> I was like, why am I not reloading anymore? It's because I picked up the super shotgun without even realizing. Too much Arachnatron spam. Oh, God. wow, that does a lot more damage than I thought it does. Alright, um... You know, honestly, if it weren't for the Arachnotrons, this map would probably be better. <laughs> it's just... It's unfortunate that there's... It's unfortunate that there's some that are just, like, entirely across the way from you, and, like, there's no way you're going to see them at that distance. When everything else is coming at you. You, you definitely have to, like, carve a path. And just, like... Stick to it. Whoops. This is that one. Oh, armor. Okay, yeah, that's important. Alright, so that's where the blue key uh, bars are.
Why were you still firing? I wasn't even here anymore. Not the button I meant to hit. How many enemies are there in this? Alright, 272. I heard another Revenant, but I think he's out on one of the, uh, the moving bits. Wow, he actually missed. That was a gift. Probably that one. Alright, he's dead. There is still another one. Is this where I was actually going? I think this is where I was actually going. Oh, it's this part. I have no shotgun shells left. Wow, okay. Also, I had to reload that. How many of you are there? Jeez. Shotgun guy is here to give me more shotgun shells, though. That's nice of him. Oh, so this is uh, this is not as convenient as uh, as Quake, where it'll still fire the single shotgun shell you have left if you're using the super shotgun, but only have one shell. Okay, so that lowers that. I actually do have some decent cell ammo. I have not found a backpack yet. Elevator is hot. Yeah, elevator is still hot. I should probably get rid of this guy. If at all possible. Okay, I think he's done. I'm just never gonna actually get on this elevator. Oh, this is the other side of that. I actually shouldn't be up here anyway. How do I get up there? I guess I go that way. Aren't there more dudes over here? Or did I actually kill them already? Oh, I actually have full rockets. Okay. Uh, that's important. This is probably going to be useful right about now, although I don't know if it's particularly safe to use here. I guess that works.
Really? That... I didn't know those could do right angles. I thought that usually doesn't work. I can't do low headroom, though, apparently. We are actually over halfway through the map by volume now. And at this point, we've, you know, picked up some momentum in terms of ammunition and stuff. The beginning definitely is kind of rough, though. I mean, the beginning is rough even without pistol start, though, to be fair. Oh, yeah, I, I still don't need rockets. Uh... That's convenient, I can shoot rockets through fences. Uh, I think I got him. That he was oh. <laughs> how convenient that he was just far away enough from me that I could rocket him safely, but uh, he also set me on fire. So that didn't really work for very long. Oh, we just resurrected that guy. That's not nice. <laughs> Look at all those window shopping demons over there. It's like, I'll have that one. Prefer you not wake other things up again. I am in a bad place. All right, that works. Uh, what? what? Um. <laughs> All right. That was that was kind of awkward. Kako takes care of the uh, picture of the helmet, and then immediately is like, "I must go. My people need me." <laughs> oh man. Kakos sometimes do that. They just, like, suddenly decide, I'm just gonna go up. Oh, right. This is the part of the map that is, I can't believe it's not the place. Also, I don't remember there being this many chain gunners. Holy crap. Too many hit scanners. Is there really this much stuff here? Well, I'm somehow not dead, so that's cool. I expected to take a lot more damage than I did there, unless I just tripped over a lot of health at the same time. Maybe that's what happened. Is there more armor down there somewhere? Oh no, there's a supercharge. Supercharged now, or 
save it. I guess it's a good time to clean up the beginning. They do give you plenty of rocks in this level, I'll give them that. Oh, also there was totally a mega armor back here that I never took, and I will gladly take that now. Like, yeah, that's this is way at the beginning of the level, but, like, you were hard-pressed to just get the heck through and find cover, because, like, yeah, the armor was, like, what, back here or something? You, you got hit scanners, you got imps, you got Macuba, you got Hell Knights, you got everything coming at you at the beginning of this level, and you don't really have much liberty to explore. One thing that would be nice is if there were a, like, shortcut that opens to get back to the main part of the level quicker. Unless there is one and I've missed it. it doesn't take that long to get back. I mean, we're here now, basically. Ow. No idea what just hit me. So, what was I doing before I got sidetracked? Uh, I think I was on the other side of things. Yeah, I should have been around here. Still surprised they haven't found a backpack, but maybe that'll change. I forget if there's one in this level. A lot of levels do have backpacks in this. I also don't remember if I got some or all the secrets in this map the first time. Oh yeah, didn't I go down here? Yeah, which like I could have just gone this way to begin with, probably. Right, because we were going to hit this switch next. They're both just trying to, like, fit through there, like a clown car door. Alright, I used a bunch of rockets there, let's get some of those back. I know I remember looking at the map here and wanting to think there was a secret here, but not finding any. Because it was just kind of, like, hinting at, like, terrain up there or something. Alright, so now we have the red key, which I think means we can get out of here, but we're not done. Not quite done with the enemies yet. So yeah, here you go. I was saying I didn't expect to finish this level on the pistol start. But here we are anyway. I did miss a few enemies, and I didn't get any secrets, but we technically finished the level. And I think this is probably World Cold tonight. The elevators are very low. But we did get, we, we did our job and, uh, and did what we set out to do and finished the, uh, the playthrough. Tried out a couple of pistol starts just to see what it was like. I am not a person who normally does pistol starts to begin with, I just wanted to see what the balance felt like on a couple of the maps that I remembered specifically having difficulty spikes in them. 
Um, at least that hurt me plenty, not insurmountable. Uh, you'd have to be very careful on the last map, though, um, in terms of being ammo efficient and also health efficient, because you're not going to get much in the way of recovery aside from the one supercharge uh, until you kill the first four dudes and get to the uh, the main fight of the map on that last level. And that, that certainly was way larger scale. That final fight was way larger scale than anything I was expecting.